a contact request to that username. It'll be accepted. And then at that point, it'll be easy for you to get in touch with Free Talk Live. Uh, joining you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Johnson. And Mark. Last night, uh, again, we teased this story and never got to it. It's now been two days in a row. We're going to finally make good on that tease and start right out with the story from Chris Cantwell, a fairly controversial personality within the liberty movement. I I happen to get along well with, uh, with Chris Cantwell, but a lot of people do not. And he's really rubbed a, a, a number of people the wrong way. Uh, well, within- it's his ideas and presentation, right? Like, well, I think m- many of his ideas are fine. He's a very liberty-oriented person. Uh, the ideas that with with which many take issue are his ideas surrounding a violent uh, revolution. Yeah, I think it's funny because I get along with Chris Cantwell, but he doesn't get along with me. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that I mock him for his ideas on on violence and whatnot. <laughs> so let me ask you this, yeah, Ian. You disagree with the ideas, though, right? I disagree with the ideas of violence, but his liberty ideas are generally sure. spot on. So um, the, uh, I mean, I think that mo- that's what most people are going to say is, is like, I just don't have time for him. You know, like I find his, I, I, I find his, uh, you know, rhetoric around violence frustrating. And, you know, yeah. most people are going to say, I, I hate him. I don't know what most people think. Um, I'm not going to say I know that. I, I don't I know, know what that, most people think either. Let's I, just I say he got mad and he unfriended me on Facebook when I, when I said about, you know, violence against cops. I said, you first. <laughs> I, uh, and, and of course, we're hearing a lot of violent talk apparently coming out of the people who are advocating folks go down to Nevada, which has been this developing story. It's getting national attention. The Bundy family, it's being called the Range War. Now, I don't think a shot's been fired, although some are alleging that the government snipers have been shooting at this man's cattle. There's a rancher who's been on this land in uh, Nevada for generations, his family has. And they've been grazing on this certain what's now public land managed by the Bureau of Land Management. They're withholding thousands of dollars in fees that the BLM charges farmers for grazing rights. And they're withholding that out of protest. The BLM is now coming after their cattle. They're rounding them up. Some say they're shooting the cattle. They're bringing armed men and uh, vehicles in to block off the roads to prevent supporters from getting out to these folks' houses. There was a a scuffle and some violence between them and uh, some of the supporters out there. And there are people out there agitating for violence, of course. Now, seems like most of the people agitating for violence haven't actually shown up in person at this event. But the supposed call has gone out by militia groups, etc., that now's the chance. You need to rally behind this, uh, these family members and come out. Although- I saw a picture of the, uh, an armed militia that was supposed to be headed out there. There were at least four of them. Now, if I want to hear somebody write a song people. about this situation, but rewrite the lyrics to "Love and Marriage" mm-hmm. by Frank Sinatra, if you remember uh, that old show the, about the uh, the Bundy family. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? I forget. Peg Al Bundy. Was Al Alan Bundy Peg. and Peg Bundy. Yeah, yes. Right. Uh, yeah, and it's probably already been done, Johnson. I bet you if you look on YouTube. It's, that somebody has rewritten it to be themed yeah. around this particular event? I don't know. It could uh, be. Not, uh, maybe. It maybe. may be done The internet now. has just about everything. getting on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that you put it out there, yeah. maybe it'll be there by the end of the night. Um, so it's a pretty by serious. The end of tomorrow night, they'll be porn about it. All jokes, <laughs> all jokes aside, it's a pretty serious situation for this family, and they are uh, in real hot water, and I hope that violence doesn't happen. Uh, because that usually looks bad. In fact, I've heard that the family has asked that if folks are going to come out, that they uh, do not bring camouflage and not openly carry weapons. Uh, so they, it sounds like the family's interested in a peaceful resolution to this. Well, it sounds to me like the uh, Department of Land Management um, here, Bureau of Land Management, excuse yes. me, they should be, uh, I mean, before they're going after shooting people's cows or whatever they're doing with these folks, take it to court. You know, whatever the dispute is, we have a dispute resolution organization right. in this country. I don't know what the legal status of this particular thing is. We can give is you it more. true that this is like they're, they're just there to try and protect turtles or something? That's the allegation. <laughs> that yeah. like- well, if they were going to protect turtles, then they wouldn't care about the fee. Right? right? It's about the fee. Yeah, well, they may you're right. They may also be angry about the fees. So we can give you more of an update on that. I've got a news story related to it. But we've been teasing the 10 things... Uh, ten reasons why libertarians are are mean to you. Well, is that what the the story is, Mark? The, the ten reasons why libertarians aren't nice to aren't you. Aren't nice. So same thing. Yeah, here from uh, Chris Cantwell. People often who complain- bills himself as the atheist anarchist a hole. That's what. That's right. Yes. At ChristopherCantwell.com. It's well placed. People often complain about libertarians being rude and obnoxious. 
It's not really as widespread a problem as some would make it out to be, and contrary to popular belief, this did not begin with me. Mm. <laughs> In the first sentence, he's made it about him we, himself. <laughs> we get that a lot here in Keene, New Hampshire. Second um, yeah. sentence, sorry. The idea that we're obnoxious, childish, rude, etc. Some of the activists here, uh, and of course all the activists are painted with the same brush, even if they've never been involved in public activism. But go ahead. To the extent that it uh, does exist, I've become to many this uh, sort of picture of the a-hole libertarian who doesn't give a crap about your feelings or opinions. So I figured I'd put this list together, why libertarians aren't nice to you. Even libertarians who are nice to you, um, I think it'll get a, we'll get a kick out of it. Because despite their outward appearances, they're every bit as frustrated with your statism as we are. Feel free to bookmark it and produce, uh, produce it every time you hear someone make this complaint. Libertarians aren't nice to you because number 10 now okay. here's the i would agree with him is is like once you develop a uh you know you move to a belief system whatever that belief system is the people that hold your old belief system become dumb because you have moved past that belief system, they should have at the same pace at the same time you did. Now, mind you, if they had moved to that belief system before you did— Is this what you think? Then Mark? they were dumb. No, I'm, this is a generality about how people That's not are how I feel about, about people. people generally. I don't feel that way about people. Just because someone doesn't come to the ideas of liberty doesn't mean they're in the same time frame I did. It doesn't mean they're dumb. It could mean they're busy. It could mean they're distracted. It could mean they're interested in other, other topics. I, I'm, I'm just making a general— Realization, I think that people tend to act this way about other folks. And I didn't say about liberty either. I said about your ideas, well, whatever okay. your ideas are. So I disagree, you, but go ahead. Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe the world's full of nice people I haven't met, Ian, but I mean, I'm just talking generally about how humans act. You just seem a little jaded and cynical, and but that's, you know, it's your perspective. Go on. Yeah, I guess that's what jaded and cynical means. It's a definition about how people have operated in the world. Mm -hmm. They've dealt with too many a-holes, and that's what uh, jaded and cynical means. Number 10, ridicule works. Believe me when I tell you, uh, we would really prefer it if mankind were a rational creature that responded to reason and evidence. If this were the case, we'd have already won this debate, and we wouldn't even be having this discussion. The state would not exist, and there would be no political arguments pertaining to it. What we have observed from watching your elections and your propagandists is that there's more of that guy sucks, so you should support me type of psychology oh, yeah. behind uh, all of this. Leftists call Very everybody red team, blue team. Yep. Real leftists call everybody who opposes them fascists and racists and religious nuts and homophobes and greedy. Rightists call everybody who oppose them socialists, enemies of God. They promote xenophobia Liberals. and homosexuals and immigrants uh, and, and foreign countries that they uh, would want to go to war with. It's unfortunate that this has become the nature of political discord, but that's the reality we're met with. You folks have obtained such wonderful political success by being completely miserable towards one another. So, we figure this is how to win political battles. Thus, we're sort of compelled to work within it. We make fun of you because this is the nature of political discussions that we've been met with. We tear down your leaders and your people because they promote terrible ideas. And we don't want people to take you seriously. There's a problem with this one, though. And the problem with it is that, you know, ridicule works when it's ridiculed by you're being ridiculed by someone who you like or respect. That's when ridicule works. What ridicule works when you're being ridiculed by your friends, not when you're being ridiculed by people you don't like. So I don't necessarily agree with this one, but but the caveat to that is what I do think works is cognitive dissonance. And I think what you need to start is you need to have people start questioning their own ideas. And that's where this sort of ridicule can help a little bit, I think, by creating cognitive dissonance in people who need to understand that their ideas are bad. But I don't think that it's just, just straight out ridicule is correct. Let's talk more about ridicule here in moments and invite you to join into the discussion. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype. Skype in at username lrn.fm. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. I'm Chuck Woolery. 
You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use a whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Markets went into a frenzy today after the price of money suddenly skyrocketed to $90 a dollar. Onion reporter spoke to economics professor Mark Cosgrave about the soaring cost of U.S. currency and the impact of increasingly unpredictable dollar-to-dollar rates. Right now, money prices are steeply rising with no signs of slowing down. This morning alone, the price of dollars nearly tripled with one cent worth approximately $6. That's exponentially higher than even a week ago when money was trading at roughly $53 on the dollar. To put it bluntly, we're now in the midst of a national economic crisis. According to Cosgrave, the abrupt spike in dollar prices initially caused many Americans to hold on to their money, hoping that the $90 cost of dollars would soon dip back down. But as prices continued to climb, investors panicked and began purchasing as much money as possible. But with the cost of quarters hitting $4.97 and the $5 bill jumping to a 12-year high of $372, the days when you could get 30 or forty dollars for just a couple of bucks are unfortunately long gone this is the onion news network so you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of free talk live and you're still hungry for liberty oriented audio content did you know that we have another 24 7 audio stream at lrn.fm the liberty radio network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want toll-free here at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features on our site. And uh, again, that's freetalklive.com. Now, important feature that your vehicle should have is a video camera. Make that two video cameras. What's that? You say your car doesn't already have one of those? They don't come standard? No, they don't. You've got to take some uh, a little bit of extra time and effort to go the next to the next level with your auto safety. And I'm talking about safety from the police. Because when you're on the roads... That's the most likely time you're going to encounter the police. And it would be a good idea for you to have a video camera that's running constantly in your cab. So it's recording everything happening in your cab. But also a second camera simultaneously recording everything happening in front of your car. So the camera we're talking about, the Freedom Cam, and there are actually two of them from which you can choose now, freedomcam.net. The camera we're talking about here is uh, it's an amazing device that protects you both from 
accidents, well, it, the legal ramifications of them, a camera will not protect you from somebody running into you, but it will document it in a way that would be impossible for you to document it, even if with even if you had a handheld camera. If you're in a handheld, uh, if you got a handheld camera going, you happen to get into a car accident. Odds are you're probably not going to be pointing it in the right place, uh, and odds are good that once the impact happens, it's not going to be very good uh, at that point. So the Freedom Cam is great because it's constantly running as long as the car has power, as long as the device is powered, it will be running. There's even a battery in there to where if the device is disconnected somehow, maybe it is an accident, and the battery cable gets ripped off you know, under the trunk or the uh, the hood rather. If that happens, this thing continues running for about 15 seconds. So you're going to get the entirety of the crash and you know whatever bounces away from the car. That's going to be recorded by the Freedom Cam. It's a great device. It's got a GPS uh, fac- factor. You know, it's got essentially it's a black box at the same time as being a dual video camera, all being recorded to an SD card. The new version of the dash cam has similar features as the original, which is both, again, they're both still available. The new version actually has an LCD display built into it, so you can watch the video right there. You don't have to remove oh, the card. You don't have to put it in a computer. It's right there. Uh, so you can play it back if necessary, and uh, you can watch the video in real time. Plus, it's a there's a lower price on this newer unit. Wow, and it's got an LCD screen and a lower price? Believe it or not. Now, wow. the one thing it doesn't have that the first one does is that the uh, the new one does not bathe the inside of the car at night with infrared light. Yeah. So the the nighttime picture may not be uh, what you're used to if you use the original, but there's some other cool features, again, that kind of... It's just different, and so you get to choose. Right. At freedomcam.net. Again, that's freedomcam.net. This is the ultimate witness. Really valuable product. I've got one in the car that I drive. So we're going to get into the story here a little bit further, the the 10 things, 10 reasons why libertarians are not nice, according to uh, Chris Cantwell. I don't necessarily agree with the assessment that we're not nice in general. I think that most of the people, at least here in the Free State Project, are very— I don't think that he's not saying that they're not nice. It's just that he's saying they're not nice to you. In other words, people that are complaining, libertarians are nice to me. Some people do uh, have issues with us. (laughs) Let's go to the phones, though, first. We've got Crichton on the line in Kentucky. Crichton, you're on Free Talk Live. How's it going, guys? Hey, Can you hear me okay? What's on your mind, sir? Well, um, the Triple Nine Society is on my bucket list, and this is related to your your article, and you'll get there eventually. Uh, but my my birthday is coming up soon, and in the an example of the height of, height of geekiness, my wife has scheduled me an opportunity to take the Miller analogies test. To compete for the Triple Nine Society. What is the <laughs> Triple Nine Society? Don't worry, Ian. Triple you don't have to worry Society. about it. I'm sorry, what? I was telling don't Ian listen he, to Mark. I was <laughs> telling Ian he doesn't have to worry about it. Well, I don't know what that even means, but uh, if somebody mentions something waka, on the waka, air. Waka. <laughs> uh, if 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 it's not known by you know if it's not obviously known by everybody, it should be explained. So, can you explain what that is? Yes, sir. The Triple Nine Society is a high IQ society. <laughs> And what it literally means is is that all the members must provably be in the 99.9th percentile. Oh, wow. And okay, so is this, like, is this a society that's more exclusive than Mensa? Yep, a 20th of the people yes. in Mensa are, would be eligible. I guess that's not exactly right, but huh. I, mean, Actually, I don't know what... Actually, fewer than that. Well, well I mean, fewer than that. Mensa's 2%. Uh, the Mensa <laughs> interest examination funny. I took when I was 18 years old, it was actually not challenging. Uh, my little brother, okay. who's 12, took it. He didn't, take, he didn't even finish the test. He still passed. Uh, Sounds so like it's it, kind of a lonely club. <laughs> well, there's about 1,000 Americans in the club, less than 2,000 in the world. Uh-huh. Um, but it's not easy to get into. I, and I'll, and I'll, I'll admit first off that I don't know if I can do it. All right. But uh, it is definitely on my, my bucket list. And this article that you're, that you're reading... It gets there, um, and I just wanted to make that commentary. How how geeky my life is that my wife would buy me a present to let me shoot for the brass ring in this case. How much is this going to cost? The test cost about a hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. Actually, it cost ninety nine. <laughs> is the uh, is the test an online thing or is it administered somehow? What. How does one take this so, test? No, I have to. I have to go to the University of Louisville and be proctored. And be what? 
proctored. Ian, they're not going to let you take this online. (laughs) Okay. I got you. So you go to like a testing center or you go to, is it like your show? Where do you go? I mean, if these guys only have a thousand members, uh, they're probably not. They hire a proctor with that 99 bucks. Yeah, but where do you go to take it? The Miller uh, Analogies Test is not a specialized test for this group. It is a uh, graduate level uh, general knowledge intelligence test. Hmm. It's it's administered by a lot of universities for university students to go on to graduate school. And you must score a 472 scaled or higher or an 85 raw or higher on the Miller Analogies Test. There's actually several tests that they accept. That's just one of them. Hmm. That's the one that I can go to because I am an adult and right. not a student. And most of the others, other graduate school type tests require right. the prerequisite. Stanford Binet, Scholastic Aptitude Test, Raven Advanced Progressive so, Matrices. Et well, I'm just curious, why are you interested in this? What are the perks? What are the benefits? What's what is attractive to you? Do, do you want to just you know feel like you're smarter, smarter than everybody else? Or do you feel like there's going to be some exciting networking opportunities? Uh, well, how are you going to feel if you don't make I, it? I don't, I'm going to feel like a loser, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. I, got, I mean, there, there's, I don't, I'm not the kind of person that likes to go through life mediocre. I just, it's, I want to challenge myself, and this is a challenge for mm-hmm. me. And the last time I took a test like this, any kind of standardized test, most of us stop when we come out of school, and I did too. When I took tests in school, I came really close. I got a 99.8 on my ACT, uh, which is no longer acceptable anyway, but um, I came very close to that to succeeding. But this isn't a challenge, though. Yeah. You're either... Uh, you're you're either qualified or you're when it comes to an IQ your IQ is what your IQ is right i mean if you can raise no. your IQ your no okay that's not true well if this is, requires an explanation of what IQ actually is people all often right stand by we can come back with I... that here in a moment uh, more with Crichton he's really smart 855 453 <laughs> that's 855 450 3733 also join us on Skype Username there is lrn.fm. Are you in this uh, triple nine club? It's Free Talk Live. There are many things the human body can do very well, but maintaining the proper pH level isn't always one of them. That's where AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops can make a world of difference. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps your body do what's natural. Just a few drops a day helps rid your body of harmful waste and acid while promoting health and restoring vibrance and energy. Alkalizing boosts your immune system and can help fight headaches, irritability, cramping, and insomnia. Alkalizing also helps the body fight depression and even bone loss. To learn more, more about the importance of alkalizing and how you can find life-changing and vital balance, please visit AlkaVision's brand new website at AlkaVision.com. Same great products, but now easier to use and more informative than ever before. To get your very own plasma pH drops for just $29.95, call 800 518 7615 or visit AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Alkalize your body and supercharge your health at the new AlkaVision.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. 
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm gonna tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm gonna tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want. Toll free number here, 855 450 free. We'll continue the 10 reasons. Why libertarians are allegedly mean to people, uh, and uh, Crichton in Kentucky has called in to talk about the Triple Nine Club. First time I have heard of it. Uh, apparently, Mark and Johnson, you guys were already aware of the Triple Nine Club. It is a... Uh, of course, I'm a member. It is a, it is, I, well, you're a very, very bright guy. <laughs> it is a group of people who are more exclusive than the folks in Mensa. That's the biggest problem with one of those organizations is that no one is ever going to ask you to prove it. Because nobody you in the club? cares but you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other club members probably care. Sure, if you really want to find that you can find percentage one of, of the people that's like a blue them. whale. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll bring Crichton back on here. Uh, he wanted to explain IQ, intelligence quotients, and you know, what it really means. But first, if you value your online privacy, you need ProXPN. It's for all the smart people. Because with ProXPN, you get a virtual private network that you can connect to from whatever device. Maybe it's your uh, laptop, maybe it's your handheld uh, device, tablet, phone, or your desktop computer. They've got ProXPN software available for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, and Android devices, plus Linux users. You can get instructions to get yours to work as well, your system to work, and it's pretty simple instructions. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL, download the app, and you can get started with it right away with uh, with no money down. There's a, there's a free account. You can just try it out. But you're going to want to upgrade to the premium package because with premium, you get unlimited bandwidth, and you can use whatever uh, application that you like. So if you want to do some torrenting, you cannot do that with their free account, but you can. Uh, you can do private torrenting with their paid account. I would recommend that you connect to their Netherlands server if you're going to do private torrenting for the maximum in privacy because that's where the, the, the laws are best to protect you. Uh, but uh, you can actually select a Net Netherlands server because also with the premium account, you get to choose which server around the world that you connect to, which will make it look like you're in that location rather than where you actually are. So you're protecting your privacy by encrypting your connection. You're protecting your, uh, your privacy by obscuring your location from the sites that you visit. It's a very useful service, and you can get it for 5 bucks a month by using our discount code, which is FTL20. That gets you 20% off the price of the premium account at proxpn.com slash FTL. Again, code FTL20 to save that 20%, and you do get the $5 price by ordering the yearly package. So go learn more, proxpn.com slash FTL. And by the way, they don't keep records of your online habits at all. Unlike your ISP, which is probably logging everything you do for mm, up to five years in some cases. So, proxpn.com slash FTL. There's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee and use code FTL20. As we go back to Crichton in Kentucky, we were talking about IQ. And Crichton, you were about to give us uh, some sort of a summary of what IQ or intelligence quotient is. 
Yes, actually, IQ is a, a ratio of learning rate compared to the average man, which, which basically means that someone with an IQ of 140 can learn approximately 40% faster than the average guy. So it's not um, about solving math problems faster or something like no, that? it is not. Uh, and that's the confusion. Uh, and because standardized tests, they all estimate uh, your IQ, they, they really can't measure it. It's not a measurable yeah, thing. Uh, and because it is an estimate, it is possible to push that number up on with, with training, if you're, if you're training for test taking in particular. Now, the, not necessarily that the actual, my actual IQ could be raised, but that my experience with test taking may be improved so that I can, I can improve that estimate number on a test. Uh, that's what I mean. And IQ so is wouldn't an a IQ test number. wouldn't an IQ t- test be rating the average the person of average skill of test taking, but their intelligent quotient? So one would be sort of spoofing the IQ test by getting better at taking tests. Um, yes. Yes, and that's, that's why what I most thought. test right. taking don't measure that number. Don't actually report the, the IQ number; they report the percentile. Okay. Percentile is a much more accurate measurement. So you're going to be taking this test, uh, a certain type of test, for this triple nine society. Johnson says they will accept multiple tests uh, or multiple types of tests. Does that mean you can take a test more than once, or is this a, like a one shot? You get one chance to try to join this group. No, I can take the test more than one time. Okay. Um, but I have to actually take the test under control conditions, and meaning that there's no way for me to have cheated the test. Right. You're They're actually going to go to some sort of test-taking center or room where someone will be there physically to monitor you. Yes, yeah, someone whose job it is to make sure that I'm not cheating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. All right. Well, best of luck, Crichton. Anything else you want to share about this process? Um, no. What do you know about – I got another question. What do you know about this group? I mean, th- there are only 2,000 members. Do they meet in person? They do sometimes. Um, I, I was, for a short while, a member of Menzo when I was in college, mm-hmm. and I found pretty fast that that's a very cliquish society. Um, I show up at a, a meeting, uh, instead of being surrounded by uh, the kinds of cliques you have in high school, I was surrounded by cliques that competed about who was more who was smarter than the other. And can I really wasn't into that. Can I interject here with a question? And, and I... I'm f- afraid that my question is going to come off as rude, and that's not really my intent. But my- it's okay. You're a libertarian. <laughs> <That's my people. laughs> what have you accomplished with this intelligence? What have I accomplished personally? Yes. Um, well, I have a rather significant income. If and that's the goal. Fantastic. I mean, let me talk, right. to, let me talk to you that's about the, That's well more than enough of an answer. Thank you. <laughs> let me talk to you about the AMP program at AMP. <laughs> we talk, we're going to talk to him about advertising. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, and I think that's uh, that's a that's a great point, Johnson. Is is that all the smarts in the world really don't do you much good unless you're successful? But I think well, yeah. that people define se- success in different ways. Sure, um, but that know. answer is more than acceptable for me. <laughs> Thoreau didn't make a lot of money. In fact, I liked that that was the first answer. It wasn't like I've contributed to this. I've contributed. Okay, so I'm, I have a good income. <laughs> but, but what Crichton is saying is that in the mens in Mensa that there is an inner hierarchy of people that are clicking off as oh well we're smarter than you even though we're in this right. group together. What makes you think that's not going to happen in, in the uh, the Triple Nine Club? Or do you? Or do you just don't know? I don't know, but uh, for me, it's just a matter of of the achievement. Yeah, you just want to get in the club. You don't really care so much about what happens after <laughs> as that. As long as they're not running around beheading one another, saying, screaming, there can right. be only one. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more to that when you'll get to that in that article later. <laughs> All right, Crichton, thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing, and good luck, by the way. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. 855-450 free. Yeah, Wit be only is in Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live. Wit. Thanks for taking me on, Ian. We're just taking your call, Wit. Go ahead with your thoughts. I hope you allow me, you will indulge me like you did the previous caller. Even it depends. I don't wanna... Are you going to repeat yourself? Because I, I, the last few times you've called no, in, you've called about the exact same thing. About me, actually, which I haven't 
had a chance to respond to. So I don't want to make this call sound like it's about me and my ego, like for mm -hmm. the last 20 minutes. And I can tell you, I don't need to see the results of a test to know that Michael Crichton, he is not. And therefore, there are scam artists that he will fall for. Uh, but first, I should like to tell and respond to something Johnson said. Deep thoughts. Words have meanings. Just like Johnson, I love you in spite of and not just because the good Lord Jesus Christ commands me to. See, I don't need a book to tell me that I should love you. Jesus is commanding and, you to uh, love me? <laughs> he seems you know, a lot pushy. of other people who believe in Jesus really would tell me that that's not true. That's the Johnson, you can rid of people my beliefs as long as you want, forever, as long as you be a man and let me respond. Because the funny thing about it is... Be I a do man, do the God. right thing. Pray to, both of, uh, pray to both of us, and I am libertarian. And words have meaning, and evil people exist, and they oppress people, and they need to be eliminated by violence most of the time, because I don't remember any pacifists winning any violent dictators... Uh, affections and having them I want to give Johnson a chance to respond. Wit, stand by. We'll bring you back here in a moment. 855 450 free. Johnson, you said you really wanted to talk to Wit. Yeah, I and do. I want to make sure that he has a chance to hear what you have to say and respond back. Sure. We're going to bring him back here in a moment. And, uh, I want to he hear says, his points about ridicule. He still hasn't really gotten to it. Okay. I want to hear about uh, how he doesn't think Gandhi, MLK, or uh, um, the, the Afghan Afghanis against stand the British. Stand by. Wit's coming back in moments on Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Hey everyone, have you heard about the No No Hair Removal Device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for No No Hair Removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my No No. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Not unwanted facial hair? No, no has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the no, no, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible no, no hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. Hey! That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, 
Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. Toll free, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got... A website, and there are all kinds of great features on there, so be sure you drop on in. And if you support Free Talk Live, then shop with us. Go to shop.freetalklive.com. Enter Amazon through the links you'll find there. There's Amazon US, Canada, and UK. You click on the right one for you. And feel good, because Free Talk Live is going to get a cut of the purchase price. It's a big deal for us when you shop through those links. So please take the time, just an extra moment, to go to shop.freetalklive.com. In fact, you want to save a little time for the future. You go there once, select the Amazon of your choice, so if it's Amazon US or whatever, you click that, and then bookmark the landing page. Bookmark the first page that comes up when you get to Amazon. Then all you have to do to shop with us in the future is just go back to that bookmark. You don't have to go to our page first. So as long as you've got the bookmarked link, you're good to go. Makes a big difference for us. And uh, you get the stuff you want at great prices. So again, go to shop.freetalklive.com. We're going to bring Wit back on the line here from Arizona. He is uh, He's calling himself a libertarian, and it sounds like you might be more better described as what's been recently described as a libertarian brutalist. I believe that's a term from Jeffrey Tucker, somebody who adv- advocates that violence is the path to freedom. And, uh, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, Wit, but you said you wanted to talk to Johnson. Can you briefly recap your uh, points that you were making to him for, uh, for listeners just tuning in? Do we have I wanted wit? to respond to the ridicule I had to endure that never got a chance to respond to by all three of you the last time I called in when you were all together. Uh, I just so happened to be on my brother's birthday, the 27th of March. Uh, and you can call me a libertarian, brutalist, Jeffrey Tucker, whoever he is, all you want. Allow me to respond. At first, I called in I, to ask all three of you to respond to the things you said about me and then give me a chance to respond. I'll be happy to speak about Gandhi and MLK down the road or later in this call if you'll indulge me for 20 minutes like you did, Crichton. I uh, we don't guarantee you any amount of time, Whit, and if you keep begging right for on, it, okay. we'll probably just Johnson, connect you. Johnson, we, we, we Johnson were talking... may I ask you a question? Sure. Johnson, may I ask you a question? Yes. It's all good. You can ridicule my God, who I actually do believe created you as well. And I don't care if you believe that or if you're an atheist. Uh, whatever that word is that the other guy used to describe you, Chris Cantwell, don't know the guy. Sounds like he's spot on with you, though. But uh, I challenge you to go anywhere in the Middle East, let's just say Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Syria, and go on the public radio and say Allah is not my God and Muhammad was not his messenger. No, thanks. And I, 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 that's all I have to challenge you. I, nothing else do I even want to say to you, That's Johnson. not really a very that's good a argument, challenge. then, is it? That's kind of a pathetic it's argument. Not an argument. You're I'm basically you saying, to go from one religious area to another. Our religious is better because we can just say whatever we want but and still believe dumb things. But you can't believe dumb okay. things. Okay, right on. You can ridicule me all you want, Johnson. That's cool with me. Okay, you can say those dumb things in the United States of America. You can't say those things in Yemen. Yeah, so what? What's your point? Killed. Well, What's your point? Uh, like so we Mark have free speech day. over here. Good for you. Like, okay, my point is, you have it too. And my point yes. is, like Mark said that the other day, that some of those people do still live in the Stone Age, and they will kill you, Johnson. And over here, yes. nobody's going to stone you to death. And if somebody does, they'll go to jail for the rest so of their what? life. So what? What's and your I was point? happy with that. Murder. So people are allowed to be. So thing. so essentially, what you're killing, saying is, is people are allowed to be. It's not a bad thing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me just let me yeah. real, real quick here. So what you're saying is essentially over there, right? 
You only mm-hmm. have the freedom to believe in that religion and be stupid, right? You're, you're saying, like, you only have no, the freedom to said. believe that yes, one illogical saying. religion over there because if you believe no, anything you else, said. you're going to be I mean, stoned to death. But what you're saying over no, here is that said, people are free to believe illogical things, right, and believe in their yeah. particular religion, right, and they're allowed to do yeah. that, or they're allowed to be intelligent. But what you're saying is, is over so, in Iraq and in the Middle East, you're not allowed to believe in logical things. Johnson? People in this country can even set up free state projects and be on the airwaves. God bless you for set. Right, hours people a day, are allowed to be logical days. over here. What's your point? God You're saying you. I, you don't want to be logical. Well, you just want to be uh, illogical. My point, is, yes, my point is, yes, our culture is superior to the culture east of Israel. I don't agree is with that logical. necessarily, but you know what? It's you each like, their own. I, I think that their culture them. is immoral. I want to call it superior. You morally equivocate them. I know you don't agree with that, Johnson. You were morally equivocated. No, I don't. Mean, I don't think that they're morally equivalent. I, in fact, I just said. You I just said to you that they are less mind. moral. I'm putting him on hold. Sure. I just said that they are less moral. That was the first thing that came out of my mouth in regards to their culture. But I don't necessarily agree whether or not that's superior or not, because superior is a subjective term. It's subjective. But I did say, in my opinion, that they are less moral. Bring Wit back on. Go yeah. ahead, Wit. And calling oneself objective, this girl, is a sub- subjective term. <laughs> I'm definitely not years. calling myself <laughs> objective. Uh, so there's we'll something we don't know about well. you, Johnson. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Wit. 855 450 free. That's 855 450. Hey, the guy needs to learn how to have a conversation with people. I think maybe he's used to being a preacher. Yeah, and so indeed. he's used to people, you know, not really listening to him. And it's a terrible asleep. preach. I mean, isn't a preacher supposed to listen <laughs> to people? Like if somebody has an issue, they sit down with the preacher, they talk to him. Preach doesn't really mean listening. Yeah, I understand that. That'd be a listener. Yeah. I mean, well, this anyway. is a call-in radio show, and clearly the ridicule is working on Wit because, you know, obviously he's got some sort of, like, personal issues where he doesn't necessarily believe what he's saying, or he wouldn't be constantly questioning it himself and needing to call in. Mm. Well, what I was struck Like, does by. he really think he's convincing other people by calling into the show with his five-second rambling nonsense? <laughs> well, I'm sure that he feels like he should be able to talk longer. Um, I, I, I spoke not a—I I didn't want to speak at all. I wanted to, you know, I, I find the more he speaks, the more— he hangs himself um but the the thing that i was struck by is is that when he goes to talk about his religion he compares it to islam Mm -hmm. and so that's like the republicans and the democrats and we both know they're full of liars and scumbags Mm. um i mean you know tell me about what's great about your religion don't compare it to another one that great point uh, you know, but, but that that does that convince convinces me not a wit. I'm a theist. Not I believe a in a god. <laughs> yeah, not a wit. I, yes, and I, ah. I I can't stand it when uh, Christians are advocating for violence and war. I think that uh, you know, I, I'm not a Christian personally, but I was raised in a Christian sort of church. And Saint so, Martin of Tours was. Was a Christian? Yes. Who's that? Uh, I believe he's the first saint, but he was uh, a soldier who uh, left his left the military because he. Because you got to consider the first thousand years of Christianity. Christianity was a um, basically violence was not a tenant of uh, religion. It wasn't until the just war theorem came along, and um, you know Christianity was well ensconced in power at that point. So <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean Christianity was a religion of peace at, uh, initially. Now. One of the issues that I have with libertarianism is the non-aggression principle, this sort of hallowed, uh, important principle that is held up by uh, by all libertarians as sac- sacrosanct. I don't think goes far enough, and so within sort of the libertarian movement, there it's are, a basis for morality. It's well, okay, it depends. It's it's a good it's a good rule, I think that uh, that people should uh, should live by, but it doesn't go far enough for me in that I'm kind of like a libertarian peacenik as opposed to a libertarian brutalist, which is somebody who believes that violence is the solution to achieving freedom in our lifetime whereas I think that peace is uh, is the answer. And so within the within the libertarian umbrella, so to speak, both of those groups exist. And so I don't think that I think you're really simplifying it. Okay, so there's a lot of libertarians out there that polish guns. You know, they're always they're real excited about their weapons and war and things like that. And there's a there's a handful of them that are like you're suggesting this, uh, you know, peace is always the solution. But the most of them believe that the non-aggression principle is the best solution is that you should not use an an uncommensurate amount of force to, uh, you know, somebody who initiates force on you. And generally, 
force isn't even a good solution. No, my that's son, not what the non-aggression principle says. My son came and punched me today. Mm -hmm. He was upset. Ah, what'd you do to him? I did nothing. I told him oh, that that's sure. not a good solution <laughs> to problems. Well, wait. So nothing preceded him? He just walked right up and socked you? He was uh, upset because I was uh, telling him he had to um, type Lego into the um, computer if he wanted to watch something on YouTube. After 4 o'clock, he's allowed to watch YouTubes. So wait, he wanted to watch something on YouTube? Yep. And was wanting you to type it in? Yeah, he he just he's lazy. He's I like, see. Uh, human beings are lazy, you know. <laughs> and so you said you type that in yourself, Jack, and then he hit you. Um, it took it took a little while. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he belly ached about no! it for quite some time. Um, I don't wanna. And that that sort of thing. He didn't protest that loudly, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it was that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't call off and punch him for it because I didn't think it was a good use of uh, of force. But I can tell you, if somebody's coming after my son with an axe. I'm going to use every bit of violence I have yeah. to to protect him. I'm not going to say peace is the way, man, because it's a. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a. That's a poor solution well, to that that's problem. That's why I'm not totally a 100% pacifist, but I do believe that peace is how we'll achieve liberty in our lifetime. That's the division I was talking about, Mark. Not whether or not you should defend your family if they're attacked by some maniac. Well, but initially um, was that was about... Witt's complaint. Like Wit has been calling in two or three times a week to try to have this conversation about violence. He's inept. I wasn't even talking about Whit. I was just quick. talking about libertarians in general. I just want to address also that he brought up that point, of like you know, the atheists. He kind of implied that atheists are all kind of moral relativists, and I'd, I'd point him to like Sam Harris or Pat Condell. I mean, they're all over the place on uh, YouTube and online, and whatnot, just bashing Muslims like crazy. And you know, it's not, it's not rational. It's not reasonable to do that either. Come back with more. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. It's Free Talk Live. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-443-7087. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus guaranteed 100% risk-free. Call 1-800-443-7087. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, April 10th, 2014. Silver is trading at $20.28 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,323 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $412. Antiwar.com reports, There are few who deny that there is an acceptable range of opinion in Washington on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and another range of opinion which lies outside of it. The latter range refers mostly to any direct criticism of Israel or legitimizing any Palestinian perspective on the conflict. Some voices manage to argue positions outside the acceptable range without being called an anti-Semite or a terrorist. 
in this case, six former U.S. officials, emphasis on former, have written a piece in Politico that is a must-read. Former National Security Advisor Zbigniew Brzezinski, former U.S. Secretary of Defense Frank Carlucci, former Chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee Lee Hamilton, former U.S. Trade Representative Carla A. Hills, former Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs Thomas Pickering, and President of the U.S. Middle East Project Harry Siegman, make several recommendations to John Kerry in the current negotiations. They call Israel's policy of occupation and settlement in Palestinian territory confiscation, and they describe Benjamin Netanyahu's demands as politically and morally unacceptable. It should be emphasized that these are former U.S. officials because that seems to be the only time that people in government dare utter a perspective contrary to Israel's right wing, that is, when domestic politics is no longer a factor. This makes John Kerry's concurrence unlikely in the extreme. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. TheHill.com reports a new bill from Representative Steve Stockman would call for sales tax to be paid on transactions using Bitcoin. The Virtual Currency Tax Reform Act would change the IRS's treatment of the virtual currency, of which Stockman has been a strong supporter. Late last month, the IRS declared that Bitcoin should be treated like property in the eyes of the federal government, which would make profits earned off trades of the money subject to capital gains taxes. Stockman's bill would change that determination and treat Bitcoin like other forms of currency. He said in a statement, this is a nascent industry. Along with 3D printers and nanotubes, cryptocurrency is the future. We need to encourage it, not discourage it. There is risk associated with every budding industry in America. Stockman has been seen as a supporter of Bitcoin and began accepting it for his failed bid to unseat Senator John Cornyn earlier this year, even though the FEC has not formally approved using the currency for campaign contributions. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numeri supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the FANS program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot fppradio.com. Reuters reports a 16-year-old student wielding two knives went on a stabbing rampage in the hallways of a Pittsburgh-area high school on Wednesday, wounding 22 people before he was tackled by an assistant principal. According to students and officials, the attacker moved furtively through Franklin Regional High School's halls, stabbing his victims in the torso and slashing their arms and faces. Doctors said some of the students taken to nearby hospitals were in critical condition. Students described a scene of panic, with the school hastily evacuating after a fire alarm was pulled. One student said, He did it so stealthily that at first no one knew what was happening. We heard a girl scream bloody murder, then two seniors were running down the hall, and we followed them out of the school. The Tribune reports the knife-wielding student was identified as Alex Ribel and charged with four counts of attempted homicide and 21 counts of aggravated assault. A preliminary hearing is expected in 7 to 10 days. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. For the past several years now, area woman Caitlin Mooney has been convinced that each and every one of her friends should be a professional comedian. Our reporters spoke to Caitlin this morning about her, quote, hilarious group of friends. Karen is so funny. Like, I can't even explain it. She's always just saying whatever on her mind. She has this totally sassy attitude. You just can't help but laugh. My roommate Reishmi, she always has these hilarious stories that, I mean, they're just too much. 
I'm always telling her that she should just go up on stage and talk. I mean, everyone would love it. Mooney went on to say that her good friend Lauren is so funny she could, quote, definitely be on Saturday Night Live or The Office, a sentiment she echoed about a number of her other acquaintances, including her childhood friend Marsha, her college roommate Angela, her co-worker Julie, and even her sister Jennifer. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We are launching into the second hour of the program. You, of course, can bring up anything that you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And you can join us via Skype at username lrn.fm. Just send a contact request. We will let you in. No problem. And again, it's uh, Free Talk Live here with you tonight, Ian in the studio. And Johnson. And Mark. Uh, we started a story in the last hour and kind of went off with some calls on wherever, really we did. as we tend to do here on Free Talk Live. We started with the 10 things... Uh, ten reasons why libertarians are not nice to you, according to Christopher Cantwell. Atheist, a-hole, anarchist Christopher Cantwell. That's his tagline. He That's how he advertises himself at ChristopherCantwell.com. I am none of those things. <laughs> uh, so let's continue. Hopefully. Let's uh, let's continue on that list of ten things, Mark. You have. I think the a hole thing's subjective. At any given moment, anybody can be one of those. Yeah. I so. think if you're claiming to be one yourself. With the intention of being one, it's a little less subjective. <laughs> <laughs> Takes it to a whole new level. So number nine, if you already have an ideology, we're not terribly concerned with convincing you. Most people have no concern, um, concept of politics, economics, or philosophy. If they take an interest in these subjects because of some something we said or because that we're, they were genuinely interested in finding some kind of objective truth, then we have some hope of bringing them over to our side. Those are the people we are primarily interested in convincing. Most people involved in these things aren't actually interested in finding any sort of objective truth. As far as uh, we're concerned, the fact that they aren't already libertarians is evidence enough of this. They choose a side for whatever reason, and they represent their team for better or for worse. Liberals do tend to become conservatives, don't tend to become conservatives, and conservatives don't tend to become liberals. And neither tend to become libertarians. At at best, for us, they try to be, get, get libertarians to assist them in their own anti-libertarian political agendas, and they've done an excellent job of accomplishing this. Trying to work with the, you, then, generally ends up hurting us, and we've learned this lesson too many times to ignore it. Having an ideology tends to imply that some the study of, uh, of the subject at hand. If you have already studied government and determined that it has any potential to do anything positive, this implies you are really not very good at uh, processing information. The failures of the state are so numerous and ridiculously obvious that we find it difficult to believe any rational person could justify its existence. Your informed adherence to this absurdity tells us that you're pretty much beyond all hope of rescue. So when libertarians argue with you, it's not to try to convince you. We're doing it for the sake of others who might be watching. Mm. How much is true? It gives us—I disagree with most of this. The fact is, Free Talk Live's very good, or has successfully, I should say, converted quite a few conservatives to libertarianism, quite a few liberals to— conser Yeah, but you don't convert somebody by arguing with them. I mean, that's just—that's the worst way yes, But to he says, we're not actually trying to convince you. Right. And if I'm, you already have an ideology, we're not terribly yeah, concerned with convincing you. If you're arguing you. with somebody, you're not doing a good job of convincing them because you're not coming to their, you know, you're not going to their level. You're not talking about it from a perspective they can understand. Uh, if you're but arguing I am with somebody, you're with having a fight. You're having a I, verbal fight. Yes. And but Ian, people, some people like to watch fights, which is what Chris Cantwell is saying, that when he's arguing with somebody, he doesn't care about their feelings or whatever because he wants to make a point. I am not that way. I think that, you know, humans uh, should be respected and that... You know, that people can change. I think that there are examples of that, as you're suggesting here, Mark. But given a choice, given the choice between do I spend my time trying to persuade people who are ideologically firm in their beliefs about being a conservative or liberal, or do I want to spend my time uh, working to persuade people who aren't so sure 
I would rather spend my time persuading the unconvinced masses, the people who are, are apathetic, the people who are not paying close attention, who are not total followers of one side or the other. They're just going to be more open and more likely to listen and consider new ideas. In my opinion, I uh, do that not, doesn't mean I would be rude to. The I opposition. do not think that that's the goal of Free Talk Live. Um, so there are a hundred organizations out there trying to capture the hearts and minds of students because they know that uh, you know, as Rush Limbaugh says, that they have minds full of mush. They're, they're still, uh, you know, they're still seeing the world. They're coming to their opinions or whatever. Yeah. Free Talk Live, although we have a younger skewing audience, probably because by dent of our voices, than most talk show hosts do, we're still. Probably the average listener is older than all three of us sitting at this table because we're on AM stations, FM stations, and on the radio. So we, you know, we don't convert. People convert themselves by mm -hmm. use of the, uh, the, the ideas that we have on a pretty regular basis. Right. But so you know you're reaching... not trying to convert wit. I mean, when wit calls in and is very, very I'd love violent. to conver convert wit, but he won't shut up. <laughs> I mean, you can't speak to so somebody who won't stop talking. Well, then be realistic about who you have a, a, li a more not... likely chance of bringing to the ideas of freedom. You know, this is, this Mark, is... as you were talking about Edge, and I know you like mocking Ian, so I just thought this point just t popped into my head, so I just thought I'd I'd bring it up because it's kind of funny. Um, there's only one person in the room who's no longer qualified to be president. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that mean? I was never qualified to be president. Why is that? I'm not 35 years old. That's the that's the thing. Well, well sorry, said no I, longer, I said no longer. Not yet qualified. No, sorry, no longer in this room. There's only there's only one person because I'm I'm now 35. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so in this room, because he was talking about the combined age of people in this room, you know, two yeah. of us are qualified to be president. I don't think we're that young. Well, Ron Paul <laughs> speaks to universities, uh, not to nursing homes. You know, because Ron Paul understands that young people are a better target for the ideas of liberty because their minds aren't as made up. I mean, it's just, I'm not saying that Free Talk Live doesn't do a good job of bringing people who might have a viewpoint or a strong viewpoint to the ideas of freedom and giving them the opportunity to consider it. I was making a statement about libertarians in general, Mark. It's not fair for Free Talk Live to be in this discussion because our mission isn't the standard libertarian mission. A standard libertarian doesn't have a, a microphone from which to broadcast or a, a video studio or whatever. They, they are relegated <laughs> They are relegated oh. to talking to their friends and family and I and or total strangers. Then if you're street. talking to your friends and family, you should be trying to convince them or you shouldn't be talking to them because you're just arguing. That's all I'm saying. DFOO. If somebody's if somebody is is, you know, firmly within a belief system and you have to choose between talking to that person or somebody who's not, I would go with the person who's not because they're more more convincible. Well, more people, open. people firmly within a belief system are at, um, you know, Democrat or Republican or at least polit their minds are, are focused on politics. If you're trying to convince the person whose uh, main concern is uh, pitching averages, I don't think you're mm. going to get anywhere with them either. So when well, you're, ta really you're talking depends. about age here, really. And so I think you're going to have a better chance with somebody who's politically interested or interested in issues and interested in talking about morality, um, and I'm not talking about morality from uh, books, I'm talking about sort of rights theory, I guess is what I mean. I've got a completely different approach than most other people I know who are you know trying to convince people, and that is that there are some people who I want to have a conversation with and I want to try and convince, right? And then there's the people who I am that are not convinced and have the opposite, uh, opposite ideas. In those people, I want to instill cognitive dissonance mm. and I want to ratchet that up to 11. I just want them to feel as much cognitive dissonance as possible because they're not going to come over to, they're not going to just be convinced. And for that type of person, the type of person that needs to change their mind, not that they didn't have a, a belief one way or the other, you know, the people who don't have beliefs, they're easy to, you know, change their mind because they didn't have really have a belief about it. Yeah. But if you need to literally change someone's beliefs, the only way that you're going to do that is through disagreement. You're going to have to get over that hump. So that person needs to experience cognitive dissonance. And in some cases, they need to experience massive cognitive, cognitive dissonance. I disagree. That means that they need to disagree with you very strongly before they agree with you. You can point out the hypocrisy in people's beliefs in a nice way. And that doesn't have mean you're most... not creating cognitive dissonance. You can be nice and create cognitive dissonance. That's true. That's how I, that tends to be how I operate. I yeah. don't want to be mean to someone. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to insult that person. But I'm also going to tell them, look, you know, you're supporting violence here. And, uh, and, they, and they're not going to like hearing that, which is one of the reasons why the parking enforcers here in Keene are so upset. 
at some of the things that the Robin Hooders say. It's not that Robin Hooders, the people that save people from getting parking tickets here in downtown Keene, New Hampshire, and have made international headlines, it's not that the Robin Hooders are going around saying insulting things to them like, you know, you're a poopy head or something like that. It's that they're pointing out the violence inherent in their jobs, and that's an uncomfortable thing to feel, and you'd probably rather not have someone pointing that out to you while you're doing your job, that you're supporting violence, that you're initiating violence, that you're hurting peaceful people. That's a really uncomfortable idea, and nobody wants to believe that about themselves. 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. More about libertarians being mean here in a little bit. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm (laughs) 
This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything right here. Toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. More to come on the reasons why libertarians are allegedly not nice to people. I don't know if I agree with the concept, but some of the the points are interesting from ChristopherCantwell.com. We'll get back into that list here in moments. And also... Want to let you know that there's big news coming at cashintocoins.com. Yeah, cashintocoins.com. Now, there's still the the biggest place in in the United States that you can get bitcoins with cash. Now, I, cash isn't exactly the right terminology, but you can go and get use a money order or a check or a wire transfer to get bitcoins. You just go to cashintocoins.com. The instructions there are clear. Uh, it's easy. Safe, fast, legal, inexpensive. Customer service is their top priority. I've dealt quite a bit with cash into coins, and they always uh, make the, the transaction as easy as it possibly can be. Now, when you go there, they've got great rates. Um, you can donate, actually, some of your fee to charity. And as, as always, orders under $40 carry no fee at all. It's cashintocoins.com. I think you'll really enjoy the experience, and uh, if you're looking to get some Bitcoins, now is probably the time to do it. Prices uh, prices dipped a bit today. Yeah, they went below 400 Indeed. Are they still down there? Um, I looked in the last yeah, couple yeah, hours. Yeah. Wow, buying it's, opportunity. Or It's that or it's the beginning of the end. It could be, Mark. You're right. Bitcoin could go to zero. There is that possibility. Seems unlikely. There's, There's a huge infrastructure behind Bitcoin at this point, yeah. and uh, um, they do everything that they say they're going to do. 362. This, this is just speculators getting cold feet. Hmm. All right, Mark. I appreciate the optimism. That's what I think. I mean, yep. you know, it's it's the opinion of one guy on the radio. I appreciate the purchases I made. <laughs> what do you mean, the purchases you made? I, well, just right before the this trending of crashing, I mean, when Bitcoin was about almost double what it is right now, I, mm-hmm. I made lo- several large purchases. Meaning you did not have to spend as many Bitcoin to get those items? Well, yeah. If I were yeah. to get those items today, I would have to spend almost twice as much. Exactly. All right, so uh, toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. That is uh, the ProXPN toll-free line, and join us at freetalklive.com. So let's continue on the list of 10, 10 reasons why libertarians are not nice, according to Christopher Cantwell. Yep, and we're going through on, uh, I believe we're on number eight at this point. I think it's important to be nice, by the way, as a liberty-minded person, because people are going to hate me even though I am nice, because simply I have a political perspective that is a threat to the status quo. That alone is enough to get people to hate you, let alone to be nasty about it would only make things make matters worse. So can I read number eight, Mark? I feel like I have the Cantwell Please. cadence in my head. So any libertarian who tells you he's trying to win an election is either lying to you about trying to win the election, lying to us about being libertarian, or terribly misinformed. <laughs> as far as we're concerned, elections are a couldn't bad be, thing. Wait, couldn't he be lying to himself <laughs> as well? It's, well it's or, or that um, Cantwell could be wrong on this. I mean, people that uh, that are you know libertarian have won plenty of elections here in New Hampshire. Yeah, but not as a libertarian. Not, but they didn't. He did not use a he big L on this one. Well, this is a little L. Yeah, this is okay. a this is a belief system, not a political I party. See. Sure. So as far as we're concerned, elections are a bad thing. We're trying to end them, not win them. Well, see who's he speaking for there. I mean, <laughs> look, I, I get I get it. Like I don't like the idea of politics, but most of the libertarians that I know, uh, you know, they see it as a valid means to political change, to changing the system. I mean, the fact is. They're not going to stop doing what they're doing. The police are not going to stop uh, tomorrow just putting people in cages who haven't harmed anybody else. There's going to need to be a legislative change to stop them from, let's say, enforcing the war on marijuana, mm. uh, for instance. So, while and once and what we can see is is largely when you know when Washington and Colorado made those big changes. The cops aren't enforcing marijuana laws any longer. No, it's pretty much the case. Now, it sounds to me like Christopher, Cam- Christopher Cantwell is talking about anarchists, not so much libertarians. Right. He's got a graphic here that's, you know, the voting graphic, which it says, voting, the slave's suggestion box. And that is what it is. I mean, that much is true. Oh, well, I think that um, I think that this is what it feels like for people who believe in the ideas of liberty, whether they call themselves anarchists or call themselves libertarians or call themselves a variety of other things that uh, people who you know uh, subscribe to some or all of these ideas call themselves. They've they've done the election thing wherever they are mm-hmm. geographically, and they've it has lost. failed miserably. Yep. And there's every reason in the world to feel dejected about that. 
Even Chris Cantwell might be able to get elected in New Hampshire. <laughs> I mean, seriously, he ran for, uh, he, and he did, by the way. He lived in uh, New York, and that's actually currently where he is. But he ran for, I don't know if it was New York Senate or something like that, or state rep there. But And he lost as a libertarian, mm-hmm. of course, as all libertarians do. Uh, and so, yeah, he's definitely got that jaded, I was involved in the system, I got screwed kind of viewpoint. If you run as a libertarian in any anywhere, um, I, I mean, I heard maybe they did okay in Costa Rica once, but if you run as a libertarian, the chances of your winning are, are remarkably low. You, you might as well um, play the lottery. I mean, even uh, for longtime listeners know Tom in New Hampshire, who's called this show. He's kind of a, a homophobe, um, not a real particularly likable character in a lot of ways. Brilliant guy, but not a really likable character. Um, he won election in New Hampshire. Not as a libertarian. I'm just saying. I, yep. I'm not talking about running as a libertarian. I'm just saying somebody like Christopher Cantwell, somebody as abrasive as Christopher Cantwell, might even have a chance in New Hampshire, because anybody has a chance in New Hampshire to get elected. Just don't necessarily run as a libertarian or right. be honest about a, what you're Run as a Democrat or a Republican or something. So he continues to say, The nature of the state is to make false promises to bait support from the people it victimizes. They promise to protect you from boogeymen. They promise to solve your economic problems. They promise to carry out the will of your deity. We see this as completely ridiculous. We we know it will fail, and we know that most people are stupid enough to swallow it hook, line, and sinker. So we can't compete with it in a popular vote. Libertarians are are anarchists, whether they realize it or not. Even the ones who are delusional enough to think that they are going to get elected and restore the bloody republic are (laughs) little more than useful idiots who are repeating anarchist (laughs) propaganda for us through channels normally reserved for government. The goal is not to win your elections. The goal is to turn a large enough minority against the legitimacy of the state as to make its continued function impossible. I would love that, by the way. I (laughs) I would love for enough people to ignore the state, to refuse to fund the state, to where the people calling themselves the state could no longer do anything about it. Right now, the amount of people willing to do those sorts of things are very, very small, and so therefore those people can easily be crushed by the mechanisms of violence that the state employs. But if there were enough people, families, for instance, with a like a property tax revolt or something like that, peaceful, of course, uh, then that would really change the game, I think. Uh, but th- but that's not going to be happening anytime soon because people are afraid to put their, uh, their, their freedoms on the line. People are afraid to put their property on the line. They're worried about what the state might do to them. And even though there's safety in numbers, no one wants to go first. I take umbrage with the idea that I'm an anarchist. Libertarians are anarchists. Yeah, I'm not an anarchist. I, d- I disagree with that I'm a uh, voluntarist. statement. And to say that we're not trying to win elections, I'll be running for an election in June. Really? And I'm going to try to win it. Well, I'm going to run for mm. a state delegate. Oh, okay, because you were talking about maybe doing a state rep, but then you talked about not doing that. I just don't, I mean, people want me to run for state rep. People are asking me to run for state rep, but I just don't see the point. Is there an, op- um, in, in the election where you live, are, is there an opposing party when somebody runs? Because I've heard that forty yes. percent of the of the state rep seats go unopposed in New Hampshire. There's a full slate on both sides. So uh, this is a huge opportunity. New Hampshire. We'll talk more about the Free State Project coming up, but New Hampshire is a huge opportunity for people that want to see change through the system. Because most people they're just not willing to put their personal uh, freedoms on the line to risk uh, to risk them for more freedom. More on the way. It's Free Talk Live. I have bought a few bottles of heart and body extract and have to say that it it certainly does work. That's what Jack from Michigan had to say after his experience with heart pain and what he did to treat it with heart and body extract. I actually had a huge heart flutter. I was also having some edema around my ankles and very worrisome clot in my uh, right leg that would happen from time to time while I was trying to sleep. Heart and body extract is all natural with no negative side effects. It will help repair or correct past problems associated with the heart and body circulation. After my second bottle of heart and body extract, all problems are now gone. Order at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. I ordered a third bottle of heart and body extract for maintenance as I want to keep everything working. Order heart and body extract at 866-295-5305 or hbextract.com. Heart and body extract for a long and healthy life. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. 
walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, hey, 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 who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this costume. No, I have work today. This is, you ain't gonna make, wait, no, now, wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference, one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Do you ever say, I could care less, when you really mean the opposite? You mean to say, I couldn't care less. It's a common mistake. You are judged by how you speak, especially if you're looking for work with so many more applicants than openings now. But even if you're not, avoiding common misstatements will help you make the most of the dozens of conversations and transactions that crowd your daily routine. So whatever you say, don't say whatever as a single word sentence. It's the most annoying expression in the American English language, according to a recent poll. And avoid cliches like the plague. Just kidding. But seriously, at the end of the day, you'll want to avoid this scenario, sounding like everyone else. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. If we get a chance, we'll give you a, a slight update on the range war situation. Nothing, as I understand it, huge has developed. Uh, if it has, please call and let us know. I'm certainly not tapped into all of the potential uh, methods for getting news about that situation. But uh, there's been an update from the politicians in Nevada and what they have to say about what's going on out there. Uh, 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number here, and you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Please enjoy the features on our site. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of great stuff there. So anyway, uh, Free State Project. You go to freestateproject.org, and you'll learn about the reason why we're all here in New Hampshire. Mark, you and I moved up from Florida. Johnson, you moved from uh, Connecticut. Well, and Florida previously. You were in Florida originally, but then uh, Connecticut interim, and then mm -hmm. here in, in New Hampshire. And people are coming from all across the country, all around the world. Over 15,000 people have signed up to pledge to make the move to New Hampshire. Over 1,500 of those are already here as early movers. The official move doesn't begin. The official migration doesn't begin until we reach 20,000 signers. And so if you love the ideas of liberty, if you're sick and tired, as Christopher Cantwell obviously is, we've been reading his 10 Reasons Why Libertarians Aren't Nice to You article here and disagreeing with a, a good chunk of it. Uh, but I, I, I totally understand his frustration. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get it. It's, it's really easy to be frustrated and angry when well, you live outside of New Hampshire. And, and as a libertarian, all you see is loss after loss after loss after failure after failure. I mean, that's got to really get to you. It certainly got to me. It's the reason why I moved to New Hampshire. Uh, I know that Christopher Cantwell is planning on moving back to New Hampshire, from what I understand. 
And even though he actually is one of the few people to have been kicked out of the Free State Project Mm -hmm. based on statements around violence that he made regarding police, um, he still sees free, he still sees New Hampshire as the destination for people who love the ideas mm-hmm. of freedom. So uh, go to freestateproject.org and learn more about this amazing movement of people who are really doers. These are the people who are going to make a difference. They're actually already winning elections, and we haven't even had – we've got, what, 10 percent of the current membership numbers that are here now. So we're, we're already having a big impact. Free Staters have been called the single greatest threat to the state – by a state representative here in uh, in New Hampshire, and that state representative is not a friend of liberty. So it's a huge endorsement. We are really having an impact in a way that others are not. Uh, in fact, Mark, uh, there was somebody on the streets apparently recently at, at different bars who asked people about their opinions on the Free State Project, and about 50% of people in the Keene area knew about the Free State Project. That's a huge level of market pre- penetration that the Libertarian Party can ne- cannot claim. I mean, people generally don't know what or care oh, about what a oh, Libertarian Oh, I disagree. Is. I think people know that the Libertarian Party exists. I don't think that uh, they generally know much more than that. You think but, so? Yeah, it's well, it's the, probably come along. In a, a little bit, because back at like a decade ago when I was doing outreach, almost no one knew about the libertarians. Almost nobody. And so it would be interesting to. to I would be uh, interested in knowing what your question is um, when you ask people if they know about the Libertarian Party. Um, do you know that it exists? Uh, I think. Have you ever heard of the Libertarian Party? Might be a, yeah. a you know like most people when I was asking the, those questions had not. Um, but anyway, let's go on here with the story. So go to freestateproject.org. Okay. Get signed up for that if you love the ideas of freedom. There's nowhere else to be. It's really the it's really something worth checking out. I wonder if are you going to have Chris call you from the report uh, to report from the uh, Bundy Ranch? Is he going out there? I would obviously assume, right? I mean, he wants the revolution to happen, and so it seems to be starting there, is what everyone's saying. So it, it clearly, would, he must be out there, right? It would <laughs> seem to be an event that would attract the, a Christopher Cantwell. You're right about that. Right. I know Adam Kokesh has gone out there. Has he? I yes. saw a report from his own studio where he was talking to someone who was out. out I there believe for him. he's moved his studio out there. I could oh, be wrong about that. I don't know. I thought I saw a headline on his channel saying that he was going, but maybe I'm mistaken on that. If you if you know more, feel free to correct us here at 855-450-FREE. We Johnson, need a reporter to see whether the reporter's going. <laughs> Johnson, were you uh, done with the ent- entry you were reading, or do we have No, more? there's a little bit more. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up a sentence just to make it a little bit clear. Uh, so the, says, ten, the 10 reasons why libertarians aren't nice, according right. to Christopher Cantwell. And we're currently covering the— uh, Number eight. Yeah, the—actually, yeah, number eight, we're not trying to win elections. And so he says, the goal is not to win your elections. The goal is to turn a large enough majority against the legitimacy of the state so as to make its continued function impossible. So there's absolutely no incentive to work with you in promoting candidates, which is the primary function of your political activity. You're right when you say no candidate is good enough for us because no matter who runs for office, we will tear them down because nobody has the right to be our ruler. You know, well, I think that uh, I agree with that sentiment. I, I, to, to some extent, I sort of agree with that. However, I do think that there's superior one one candidate superior to another. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, often many libertarians disagree with me on this subject, but I think most of them are like, yeah, you know, I'd, uh, on the way to tearing down this monopolistic hegemony, calling itself the state, um, we, we'd like to have better rulers than uh, you know worse ones some people believe it has to some libertarians believe that we should vote for the worst candidate in order to get the worst candidate in office so that we can show people what a terrible thing the state is and i think that that's that's a terrible idea the terrible idea but but i do agree with the idea that uh the purpose at least when i run a political campaign is not to win that's that's not the reason i run i run to good thing (laughs) bring the ideas of freedom forward and to put them out there so people can consider them and mm. maybe change their mind. And maybe this is the way that they will encounter the ideas of freedom in a way that they will actually consider them, uh, as opposed to hearing them on the radio or hearing a friend or family member attempt to persuade them. So for me, that's the goal of a political campaign is, is an outreach tool. If a libertarian actually wins election, then that's great news, too, because then they can have fun uh, trolling the system. I think the next one uh, Cantwell brings up is probably 
one that I'm a little bit guilty of, and I think a lot of people I know are guilty of this next one that he, he brings up here, which is the, we've already had this discussion a hundred times, and people, you know, libertarians getting aggravated because they've already had a discussion over and over and over again. Like when somebody tired. else asks them, what about the roads? Is that yeah. what he's talking well, about? Let, let's just, I'll okay. jump into it. The roads! So he said, if you had ever bothered to study the works of any of the great libertarian theorists, you wouldn't be asking us the questions you were asking. Now, this is just, that, that's just ridiculous. Well, why <laughs> should I'm not re, um, obligated now somebody can present me a new idea right and uh, I think for instance a new idea that's sort of bubbling up on my radar is feminism not to say that this is a new idea there have mm. been you know first wave second wave third wave feminists um, we're, I don't even know know what wave we're on now sex positive <laughs> feminists individualist it's like we're feminists. space invaders <laughs> right I, I'm not sure where we're at but they're moving faster and getting lower um, the uh, I, I don't I don't know but the idea that I'm obligated to to know what the philosophy of uh, this particular feminist or, or that's presenting these ideas to me, I'm I'm not obligated as an as an individual to know what these ideas are. Nope, not not obligated. You need to educate me if you want me to uh, you know to believe your stuff. So you ask, who will build the roads, or what about defense? You tell us. There's no such thing as a utopia and a lot of other really tired arguments. It shows us that you haven't taken so much as 10 minutes out of your miserable life <laughs> to make even the slightest effort to understand what we are proposing. In the meantime, we are always staying tuned to the propaganda you consume so that we can counter it. We write thoughtful articles and we make informative videos and produce compelling audio content that explains in great detail what exactly it is your politicians and propagandists are saying and and why it is wrong. You don't pay any attention to any of that content because it's not coming from your team. And everyone on your team repeats the same propaganda. So yep. every... That's what it is, though. I mean, like, it's propaganda from all sides. The libertarians have their <laughs> propaganda, too. You're damn right. And now that doesn't make it wrong or false. It's just propaganda. Propaganda right. is either true or false. Um, but, you know, the fact that people have been indoctrinated into a system where they didn't understand took me a long time to come to the ideas of roads. I just couldn't figure out, oh, how are we going to put roads down what without roads? imminent domain? I didn't know. It took me years. If so all somebody had to do was... Uh, was was show me auction theory. You know, you can just put place contingent uh, bids on property. I'll buy your property for this, and um, if if this happens and that happens, like this person accepts an offer and this person accepts an offer, if you need to put a road from point A to point B, certainly you can go two different routes. Of those two different routes, if you can get the sellers, um, you know, to agree, then wham, you've got it. You don't need imminent domain to steal people's property. You can just offer a deal to somebody else it might cost a bit more but just look at vacation land florida where disney has built the roads oh yeah i heard they're really nice yeah fantastic we'll come back with more here in moments you can bring up anything it's hard to believe somebody would do a worse job on the roads than the government does i mean anybody that's driven around here in new hampshire knows just how <laughs> god awful they are more on the way free talk live you take control everybody wants to know what can you buy with bitcoins isn't there like a bitcoin general store or something well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. 
And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. Free Talk Live. People, they like to complain about the idea that the money is taxpayer dollars. It's not really true, is it? I mean, they were your dollars until you yeah. gave them to the government. Right. Now they're their dollars, <laughs> and they're going to do whatever the hell they damn well want to do with them. You're right. It is still your money in that if a thief comes and steals money from you... It doesn't cease to be yours just because yeah. they stole it. You still have a claim on that, but you don't have the ability to control the thief unless you actually have him in your custody. Mm. So that thief is going to go out and buy a big green TV or do whatever, you know, spend it on coke and whores or whatever it is that thieves do uh, with the money that they steal. And you That's what the politicians really, do with it. Yeah, you you know you can call the thief on the phone and say, "I told you not to spend that money on whores," <laughs> and he's gonna say, "Well, thanks for the input." <laughs> yeah, I, noted. I appreciate that. Free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want right here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, a quick update on the Bundy so-called range war happening out in Nevada we are, uh, though, right now in the midst of discussing uh, what it is that some libertarians uh, are, are doing in response. Well, there's a lot of people that are that are the advocates of violence that are kind of coming to, uh, allegedly coming out to Nevada, the Bundy situation. And Christopher Cantwell is one of those advocates of violence, and he believes that violence is necessary to solve the problem of the state. I firmly disagree with that. I also disagree with the idea of being rude to people in attempting to communicate these ideas. But I I also get where he's coming from. I understand the frustration that that a liberty-minded person can feel when people just don't get it. Uh, and and I get that. I but know. I don't think all ideas deserve respect. It's not necessarily when I you know when I feel like I'm being rude to somebody and it, it can happen. It's not because I'm necessarily being rude to them as a person. It's because I'm being you don't like the idea rude about the idea that they're expressing. Yeah, I still think it's it's good to try to uh, you what you catch flies with honey, so to speak. Try to be as as nice and as cordial to people, even if you vehemently disagree. Some with Some people I'm not trying to catch. <laughs> no, and 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 Cantwell was kind of making that point earlier is that some people are more valuable than others, or they're more uh, likely to be caught, they're more right. likely to be persuaded, or have their minds changed. So I think you should be dis- decisive in who you speak with. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, we'll continue on this list here, and don't forget you can go to freetalklive.com. There are a lot of features there on the site. The AMP program is really important to us, though. You go to amp.freetalklive.com. You can help support Free Talk Live, help us get on more radio stations, and 
what we're doing right now is we're raising funds to do Google AdWords advertising to bring new listeners in, not people looking for liberty-oriented podcasts. We're doing outreach right now to just regular talk radio listeners because we do want to bring people in who are willing to listen, who are willing to consider new ideas and, and listen to the ideas of freedom, and hopefully we'll entertain them, and then they'll be more likely to stick around and, the idea anyway. and consider uh, these concepts. And so it's working already. We have started the Google AdWords, but we want to raise some more money so we can upgrade. Do you know, more Google AdWords. Yeah, upgrade the Google AdWords campaign. And there's a matching contribution on the table for your AMP dollars. Now, AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. You can go to amp.freetalklive.com. It's five bucks a month. That's all it takes to help Free Talk Live get the ideas of freedom into more ears. And with your five bucks a month, you will be bringing new clicks to Free Talk Live, new ears to listen into the show. That's what the AdWords campaign does, is it brings newbies to this program. You can help us by going to amp.freetalklive.com, sign up with any major credit card through PayPal, or use Visa or MasterCard right there on our website. We make it easy. It's done automatically for you every single month, and it makes a huge difference for us. Plus, your money will be doubled. We've got some very generous supporters who have, for the last six months now, basically, have been doubling uh, the amount of money coming in to up to $950 a month from Free Talk Live amplifiers. And we haven't reached that maximum yet. We actually took kind of a dip recently because we had one guy who signed up for 260 bucks a month and really boosted us up, and and it, it didn't last. So he's back down to 25 bucks a month, which we still appreciate, mind you. Uh, it's just that now we've kind of taken a little hit on our total. So what what we'd really like to see is... 100 Free Talk Live amplifiers join at 5 bucks a month. I'm not asking for more than $5 per month because our uh, supporters, if you throw in 5 bucks a month tonight at amp.freetalklive.com, they're going to double that to 10 bucks a month. So you're doubling your money. You're doubling the amount of people you can bring to the ideas of freedom. That's what we're using your money for with the AMP program. Go check it out and get signed up at amp.freetalklive.com. Johnson, you were actually uh, apparently you've hijacked the article from Mark at this point, and uh, <laughs> he know, likes his he likes the way he's reading it better than the way I was. Yeah, reading he it. is attempting to affect a Christopher Cantwell cadence whilst reading the the story here, which is the. I just think I can rant like Cantwell. You know, it's, yeah, I sure. Just, I've listened to a lot of the same content and comedians he listens to, and I understand how he thinks about these things. I think a little bit. So go on here with uh, the ten reasons why, or ten things that what is it, what is it? Ten reasons why. Ten reasons are mean. why libertarians aren't nice to you. Yeah, <laughs> libertarians like Chris Cantwell. Right, let's, right. let's put that uh, that little uh, modifier. I'll in there. jump in there because I think this is one of the better articles Chris for Cantwell's ever written because I think it's generally true mm. of a lot of libertarians, and I, I'm definitely guilty of a lot. Well, of one these of things. the reasons why is because libertarians are notoriously inept socially and they don't understand how to be nice. Well, I think that I this know. this one number seven. I know seven, how to be nice to who I want to be nice to. I also know how to be mean to the people that yeah. I want to be mean to. This is number seven that he's talking about here, uh, where you know we've written all this material and you haven't even read the stuff that we've put out there. Mm. I think it's completely fallacious. Um, I you know this is this would be the same argument that anybody who believes any idea um, would say is is look, there's all this literature out there on Islam, the Bible, mm. feminism, communism, you, whatever. Well, your idea thing out there is it makes no there's no obligation upon me to have read your crap no and i agree with that and i understand where the frustration comes in it can be difficult to get the same questions over and over again when yes. it's been sort of asked and answered a million times but the proper way to respond to that is you know what i don't have time to get into a, a, a you know a lecture series on why it is that roads can work under a free market system but here are some recommendations that I would like to give to you, Mr. Inquiring Mind. Here How about some good ideas. Google Libertarian Roads? <laughs> well, that's kind of a, that's See, kind of so a blow you're off. guilty of this, too. Yeah, it's that's, not, that's a blow off. That's a blow off. I meant giving them specific ideas as far as what's a good book that somebody could pick up. Why would you want to, why would you want to spend money on it? There's, you, have, you have the sum total of human knowledge that you access on a daily basis. People just need to be re reminded to use it. I don't think there's anything wrong with finding an article. I didn't mean necessarily just a book, but maybe find the article that you think is the best. Share that with the person. That's, well, that's or great. Know, or know but who you were an suggesting is. that if you had a, you know, if you had didn't have time to talk to somebody, I'm just saying what you could do. Um, and this is yeah, but saying let me Google that for you is kind of a blow off, isn't it? But it? The fact is, Ian, if you don't know the answer to a question, get on Google. The, I mean, listen, people, we are past the age of asking questions to other hairless monkeys. Stop asking people the answer <laughs> they don't know. They're dumb. The smartest person you know is dumber than Google. Go look on 
the internet if you have a question. That's what I mean, Ian. Okay, I'm just saying maybe you should be willing to be nice and point them to something rather than I'm just happy saying, to do that. go search for something. They're, out, they're honestly asking you to help them with an issue that they have, and you're giving them this rude response of, That's not a off. rude response, Yes, it was Ian. very rude what you just said. No, yes, Ian, it was. I'm, 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 I'm laying it out right now for everybody in radio land, because this, this is a thing that I have to Your learn, Your response too. is, I don't have time for you, go Google it. No, my response is use Google, Google Libertarian and Rhodes. My Here. question is when you tell them to Google it, do you use uh, lmgtfy.com? <laughs> um, I have done that in the past. You've done it to me. And I think that it's a great reminder. Now, yes. Do you know what that friend, site is? Do you yes, know what that let site me, is? Okay, let me Google, Google that for you. you. Yeah. I would use that with a friend. It's but an not animation a... that comes up and plays and it. It shows the Google screen and it animates the mouse. And Clicking, then it types in yeah. like the simple search that you could have typed. Like, you know, like, hey, guys, what's the weather like today? And it's like. What's the weather like today? Well, it's, Click, and then it'll come up with the exact it's result. A, it's a but real is, smart ass thing to This uh, to is send poignant a commentary on the hu- on the modern human existence. I have moved from a time when there was no internet. It didn't exist. And you asked questions. People said things like, you know what? Red cars get more tickets than other color cars. Do and all you have to get do more tickets than other color cars. Right, you look it like, up. No, <laughs> that's statistically as false. Snopes.com. You know, like, <laughs> like you know, <laughs> these things that get said over and over again mm-hmm. that the, the By the, the way, I was just making that up. I have no idea whether or not red cars get more tickets. Yeah. I'd actually be inclined to think that I just too. got an email today that's that rec- that says that the, the mm-hmm. epitaph, the S word, the four letter S word, it means ship in high transit. No, it doesn't. Stop <laughs> sending this crap around. I mean, all you have to do, if you have a question, everyone knows look on Google. that. No, everyone they that, don't, Mark. Ian. I mean, look, what I'm saying is you're using that as an excuse to blow somebody off. I am not. And that's fine. If that's what you want to do, it's not a persuasive thing to do. There was somebody posting on the Free Keen profile. Now, arguably, this person was a troll. But sometimes trolls can seem like they're they're honestly interested in knowing something. And I tend to give local trolls more preference because this person's a local here in the Keene area and was asking a question about libertarianism and their, you know, their alleged support for repealing drunk driving laws. And rather than just tell this person, that's been asked and answered, go Google it. I actually went ahead and found what I considered to be a good article about it. I Googled it, and then I picked an article. And because you know, if you liber- if you search for libertarian roads, you might find a variety of different results. Yeah, well, that's the point. Is when somebody asks a question like what you're saying, libertarianism isn't firm on whether or not drunk driving is aggression. So that's you fine. would have to do that, Ian. I gave my opinion about it through sharing a Lou Rockwell article. So I did not have to answer all of his I wasn't willing to spend the time answering questions in detail about drunk driving. Lou Rockwell already wrote up an article about it. You know what upsets it. me? That Barry Ruart's short answers to tough questions are no longer publicly available. Oh yeah, I think they're publicly available. I just think I think they that send they out were a taken newsletter. off. No, no, I think that they were taken offline. She's now put them all into a book, and then oh, she's had that book for years. Off. No, oh, they yeah. have them in a newsletter. The Advocates for Self Government send it biweekly. Yeah, or they, semi-weekly. But they used to be the, like an archive of all of them. Wait, that bi-weekly, you can go look damn it, up. semi-monthly. They send it uh, tw- once every two weeks, bi-monthly. and you can always look at those online. There's an online version, so right. they are there. We're coming up. Free talk live. In 1952, Martha's parents drove her home in their brand spanking new coupe they just insured with a spiffy outfit called Geico. In 1967, Chad got a far-out policy from Geico and saved himself some bodacious bread. In 1994, Natalie got the 411 from her homegirls on a fat with a PH insurance policy from Geico. Word to your mother. Over the past 75 years, the expressions have changed, but one thing hasn't. Saving money with Geico. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. 
He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,304, silver opened at $19.78, and Bitcoin is trading at $442.78. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Gigahash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time, and sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. Support also comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online, affordablesound.com, or call them, 512-459-5253. And support comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing. Tickets available for their second annual conference. It'll take place June 21st, voiceandexit.com. In the news, as pro-Russian forces prepare for conflict with Ukrainian authorities, the United States is accusing Russia of creating conflict within eastern Ukraine. Separatist forces have seized several buildings, creating barricades, and are apparently arming themselves with makeshift bombs as they demand independence from Kiev. Former Mount Gox CEO Mark Karpeles is beyond the jurisdiction of United States courts. That's according to his attorney. Karpeles and the now-bankrupt Bitcoin exchange are currently being sued for consumer fraud after Mt. Gox announced it could not account for several hundred thousand customers' bitcoins. Working under the theme with Generation Liberty, the Libertarian Party of Texas will kick off its 2014 state convention at the Frank W. Mayborn Civic and Convention Center in Temple this week. The convention will run from April 11th through the 13th. Candidates will be nominated, breakout sessions will be held, and special guests will speak. That includes independent journalist Ben Swan, who will serve as keynote speaker during a Saturday evening dinner banquet. Tickets are required for some events, with information to be found at lptexas.org. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. Dorothy can walk you through the ins and outs of buying a home. Give her a call, 512-343-6494, or apply online. Call Dorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. Support also comes from My Magic Mud, all natural teeth whitener. Go to mymagicmud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's mymagicmud.com. And support comes from Brave New Books. Find them online at bravenewbookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. Check out the website, thelibertybeat.com. It's known as Heartbleed and is described by experts as being one of the most serious computer security threats in recent years. Reuters reports that Heartbleed is a newly discovered bug in widely used web encryption technology that makes data on major websites vulnerable to hacker attacks. Security experts say Heartbleed is so troubling because victims can't tell if their data has been accessed. The bug has existed for about two years. Security experts say now might be a good time to change passwords. A federal judge says the State Department should not have delayed the prosecution of former Blackwater security contractors charged with shooting unarmed Iraqi civilians. Russia Today reports the contractors were working on behalf of the United States at the time of the 2007 shootings. They are accused of shooting 14 Iraqi civilians without justification and in violation of deadly force rules. The United States and Japan are hoping to strike a two-way trade deal 
that could help seal the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The two nations are meeting this week in anticipation of President Barack Obama's arrival in Japan on April 24th. The United States is hoping to convince Japan to open its rice, beef, pork, dairy and sugar markets. U.S. Trade uh, Representative Michael Froman stated that Japan was holding up the international agreement by refusing to be flexible. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal Printing, your source for anything printed since 1972. Now accepting Bitcoin online at MassAppealInc.com. And support comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. Homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. As Sao Paulo struggled to dig out after last week's devastating earthquake. I'm just praying. I'm just praying and helping. One group was left with no one to care for them. There is nowhere for these homeless dogs to go. There is no food to give them. There is no clean water. These dogs are going to starve to death. I have to do the humane thing. I have to put these dogs down. O'Brady Shaw is the only journalist compassionate enough to do what has to be done. Put down 50 or 60 dogs today. I didn't want to. Let me help you! The fruit would have been much worse if I hadn't done it. It's better this way. O'Brady Shaw goes where other reporters won't and does the jobs other reporters can't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Gut Check with O'Brady Shaw. Live from Sao Paulo. Tomorrow night, only on the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, take control of the airwaves right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE, whoa, 855-450-FREE is the toll free number, and we've got Skype, you can Skype in at username lrn.fm, and don't forget to go to freetalklive.com. Kicking off this hour of the program, for those of you just tuning in, we have been throughout the show digging deep into the supposed reasons why libertarians aren't nice, according to Christopher Cantwell who is an expert on the matter. Uh, We'll continue (laughs) with that here in a little bit. Uh, Your calls come first, though. The range war is on a lot of people's minds. This is the the term it's been uh, given for between a conflict involving the Bureau of Land Management and a Nevada uh, ranching family, uh, cattle farmers that are out there. Uh, They've been there for generations, and they are under attack by the BLM. BLM wants money from them. They want obedience from them, and now they're stealing their cows. They're surrounding the farm with uh, snipers, with men with guns, with uh, with vehicles that are preventing supporters from getting in. To so, help what them. is the difference between snipers and men with guns? <laughs> I guess men with guns, besides sniper rifles, are also on on the scene as well. And Scott is in Utah. He would like to comment. Scott, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead with your thoughts. Thanks, guys. Yes. Um, I called in a couple of days and a couple of days ago, and was talking about this with you guys. Um, one update that I heard about it. I live about 20 miles away from where the ranch is, so Mm -hmm. I get to hear a lot of talk about it. One update that I heard that the media, I haven't heard anything about it, is uh, Bundy is actually one of the last large-scale independent ranchers in America. He refuses to sign any kind. Yeah, I haven't really heard it too much, but maybe some of the the lesser-known sites. But he refuses to sign any kind of corporate contracts or anything like that. He does not want his farm to be a corporate farm. And so I don't know if that might have something to do with it. Certainly Maybe suspicious, kind of right? Theory, but a lot yeah, of times yeah, uh, like... <laughs> you, you've heard so much about these politicians getting their payoffs based on this, uh, this, this government land and who gets to graze on it. And I can totally imagine that the corporations that want to buy up um, branches, they're certainly buying up farms. I don't know if they're buying up branches, but it stands to reason that they are. Um, that the corporations that want that are going to want to push pressure on this dude. Yeah, it seems like they're kind of trying to run out the last of the independents. So that's what it seems like to me. And I'm I'm friends with some of his family members, and they're saying the same thing. They're saying if you were the corporate farmer, we wouldn't even be hearing about this right now. So. Oh, we've heard that a hundred times on this show. Yeah, I, I believe it. I believe it. I absolutely believe it. Because who has the power? 
It's not the individual. It's the corporations, the ones that can afford to spend money on politicians. It's cheaper to buy politicians than it is to buy uh, land and buy businesses. Yep, yep. Scott, anything else but, you want to uh, share? Me, uh, me and a couple of filmmaker types around here, we're going to go down and protest tomorrow, and we're going to we're going to try to interview as many people as we can. We're going to ask them what they think about liberty and make a little short five minute documentary about it. So it should great. Be when you uh, when you wrap time. that documentary up, uh, go ahead and submit a link to it to freetalklive.com so we can yep. be aware of it. Thanks for doing it too. Scott. Hey, we'll do- Will do. Good luck Thank out you. there. Stay safe. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. And yeah, call back with an update too when you get a chance and let us know how things hey. are uh, on the ground, if you would. All right. I'm enjoying this Chris Cancer talk. So All right. keep it up. Chris Cancer, <laughs> thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. I think he said Cantor. I think he just <laughs> misunderstood his name. <laughs> it is kind of funny, though. Chris Cancer. I like that. <laughs> Uh, Some would say that Chris is a cancer in the libertarian movement. I think that he's just an angry guy, like many libertarian-minded people, who has a lot of frustrations. And and a lot of people would be that way coming from New York. Talk about a place where <laughs> there's no chance for liberty to uh, to exist. I mean, you know, it was bad in yeah. Connecticut. Well, I lived right on the border in New York, so you know, yeah. it's like you know, I'm right. In, I was living in you know Fairfield County, Connecticut, so that's kind of a basically suburb of New York City. Um, and yeah, it's. It's the same type of thing. Freedom doesn't have a chance in places like that. So no wonder liberty-minded people in those places are frustrated, upset. They're throwing their hands up. They're angry. And, of course, that's what you get typically from a Chris Cantwell article. We're going to continue that. But first, Helen is in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Helen. Hey. hey. We're making progress here. We're, we're on really? the verge of um, legalizing medical marijuana. So. Well, well I hope it gets days. done. That would be progress on one issue, but uh, right. all of the indicators show, Helen, that if you care about freedom, New York is one of the the worst places in the country. New York and California are battling it out. I believe New out. York's 50 on the Mercatus Center. Yeah, they're they're um, battling it out for, uh, for position number 50 on the rankings of the most free states. Uh, I, I don't know how you... How you calculate this ranking. Good question. But, uh, you would want to check with the Mercatus Center and they would give you more detail on how they calculate yeah. uh, their ranking. It's at freedom okay. freedom in the 50 states.org. I'll post it up on our Facebook okay. page. All right, I just wrote that down. Okay. I mean they they um, just they t- it's business regulations, economic freedoms, you know, personal freedoms. Uh, it's, it's just there's a myriad of different freedoms that a person can have and in New York you are going to have the least possible amount that you can have of all the different states. Mm. By their rankings, at least. Yep. Okay. Anything you know what else I you want to share? wanted to ask you guys? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I, all right. I, I know that one of you, or one of you on the line right now, one of you had to serve time for a, a, a felony, a crime. That's right. Uh, that's it's me, Mark. To do with, and Mark? Yep. Okay. All right, all right. What do you think about this kid outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, who they decided to over, in my opinion, over zealous prosecutors decided to try this kid as a sophomore in high school as an adult, the one who ran down the hall and he was stabbing people with two kitchen knives. Oh you, my goodness! You, you didn't hear about that thing? I, I no, heard I about the stabbings, but I didn't know that they, um, you know, I, I, I it's oh, not... they decided immediately to try him as an adult, That's... and I'm like, he's not an adult. It's, you know? <laughs> it's not a surprise to me. It's it's a really common thing to do. Um, they, you know, this happens in almost every state. Is that they'll the the idea is is well, they committed an adult crime, so they should be charged as an adult. I you know, think- I saw this funny. I, I put myself through college work doing legal. I'm not an attorney, but doing legal research and writing criteria. And stuff. I saw this funny cartoon that had this like little frail, short looking white woman being escorted through the courtroom with the jail people. And then the prosecutor says, we want to try her as a 21-year-old African-American male. <laughs> I mean, it's, this is ridiculous. Well, I that's think. a comic strip. But what is it that makes, uh, you said this person was but, 17 who did the stabbings? Wait, before you move on from that, Ian, though, you no, know, he, the fact that it's a comic strip doesn't necessarily matter. I think what's being pointed out here is how ridiculously fictional the legal system is. You know, how fictional is it that it's like we have to say, oh, they're trying it as an adult. Well, they're not an adult. So why are you trying it as an adult? adult? I mean, it's just... 
it's well, such a ridiculous thing to say. Why can't why can't we just have the proper punishments for a child that has run down the hall stabbing people? Why do they have to be fictionally tried as an adult? Why can't they be tried as so a child who stabbed people? Right. So what you're saying is Johnson that the, the words don't matter. That the person did violence and they should accept whatever anybody. Right. Why would do get we have to that? fictionally somehow turn them into an but adult? That's not what that's not what Helen is saying. Helen is saying that he's not an adult and she's kind of looking at it from a legal perspective. Can, so Helen, can you tell me a little yes, bit more I am. about this? So, I agree with that. I agree what should with that happen to gentleman. this young man? He should be tried as a juvenile because that's what he is. But and should he be punished as a juvenile, or should we have a, a proper yeah, so punishment for a juvenile have, who stabs people? They should, have, they should do some psychiatrist or whatever, do, you know, like some analysis of what where the I guess head is at, and he should either be in a juvenile detention center or she, he should be in some kind of. What do you want to call it? Mental institution. So just to be clear, are you saying it's that not, as a juvenile, his punishment should be less severe than if he were uh, an adult? I'm not. I don't think in the terms of punishment. Okay, I think in the terms of keeping someone who's a danger to society away from society while they are a danger. You're here. Okay, but then you don't throw a kid in with a bunch of adult males, and you're only going to end up with a worse disaster. But if he were that. 18. Then he would be thrown in with the adult males, and you'd be fine with that, right? Well, actually, he'll be thrown in with adult males anyway. Well, what she's well, saying is she wants him to be in a juvenile detention facility. So right. what I want to know is, do you think that if he was 18, then he should be thrown into a, a regular prison? I don't know. Is that cut off age 18? That's the, a, the, late, uh, the age of being a legal state. adult, which... I find to be pretty absurd. I think that uh, you know, if you're old enough to pick up a knife and stab somebody with it, stab multiple people with it, then you're old enough to suffer whatever the consequences might be. Yeah, but I don't think that somebody should be. Um, you know, what's a, what's an adult crime? What's a juvenile crime? I'm 43. Can I go out and spray paint a building and get charged as a juvenile? No, I agree with Johnson. I think there should just be crimes and you know whatever makes people whole. Thanks uh, for the right. call, Helen. Appreciate it. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and help make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% <laughs> Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. We know you're out there. We can feel you now. We know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. We don't know the future. We aren't here to tell you how this is going to end. We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com.
That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasing.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've been talking about the range war, the so-called range war going on in Nevada. Uh, t- take your calls about that, of course, or whatever happens to be on your mind. Also, we've been discussing libertarians and being nice or not, and the reasons why, according to Chris Cantwell, why libertarians are not nice to you, although I think that uh, libertarians should be nice when they could, uh, attempt to communicate with people. Now be nice. We'll, uh, we'll get to <laughs> more of uh, Cantwell's points here in moments and take your calls as well. It's Free Talk Live. You can go get a free pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. There we offer BuzzBox Coffee, which is the best of the best, high-end coffee, organic, shade-grown, one well, excuse me, top 1% grade Arabica. So it's delicious coffee. They also... Uh, allow us to help uh, you know give p- people around the world micro loans loans so they can have a better life better uh, better their communities give them a hand up instead of a handout if we can get a thousand listeners to get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com i'm not asking you to start drinking or stop drinking coffee i'm asking the people that drink coffee get your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com and you can help us help change the world bring uh, you know, bring a better life, more human freedom to a thousand families. That's going to be a pretty big deal. You can do it by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Go get the free pound, try it out. You can cancel the subscription anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, again, toll free number 855 450 free. Let's go to your phone calls and thoughts. And by the way, you can connect with us on Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. Let's go to Brian. I don't know where Brian is, but he's on Skype. Hey, Brian, what's on your mind tonight? Hey, guys. I'm actually in Nashua, New Hampshire. So Excellent. Uh, free stater. So um, let's go back to your, your actual comments before. Uh, should drunk driving be a charge? Uh, I like how you guys kind of brought up that thing. Does the libertarians have an uh, idea of should that be illegal? Uh, this, uh, this is one of those things that I don't understand why the, everything doesn't fit under a reckless driving charge and individuals be charged for an actual crime. So yeah, I agree. I think I if think you're driving dangerously, that's the issue. I think there's a good argument and a and a bad uh, a good argument for the for what you're saying and a good argument against. So let me um, give the you know real quick rundown. Yeah, I mean, like think about it for a second. I've driven well under the influence of alcohol, and I think a lot of people have. Now, I was lucky enough to make it home. I didn't have a situation where I needed a faster reaction time, um, but I made it home and everything was fine. So if I aggressed against somebody. Who would I pay a to, to whom would I pay this tort? Who do I pay money to to, uh, to to make good for what I have done wrong? Well, that's a great argument against um, you know having drunk driving laws. However, um, you know the argument on the other side is this is an extraordinarily negligent activity, and you're you're endangering people. Lives are in danger when you're um, on the road. Now, uh, you know that's that's a big deal too. You can say that I haven't. If I play chicken with somebody on the road and I turn off before they, um, before they, uh, you know, hit me and they veer off into hit a guardrail, have I? Whoa, whoa! I didn't touch them. So why am I being charged? My car's fine. 
Well, what do you mean by chicken? Uh, like, like, because it sounds to me that was like a mutual aggressive activity. Oh, no, no, I mean chicken. Like, uh, you know, I move over from on a two lane road. I move over from the lane I'm supposed to be in to the uh, lane of an oncoming car. You were playing chicken. The other car wasn't. Right. Um, you know, just okay. uh, messing with them. Okay, I, I come. I see. Where or you're I throw a punch from. at Only- your face, but I stop an inch short. You know these kind of things. Then I would argue that is a, that's also uh, reckless driving. Then because I, I would say you're not just putting people in danger. You're you're recklessly well, driving. But right? you're giving a police officer the sole discretion as to who's driving recklessly and who isn't. Because this is the same argument with speed limits. You know, um, they how fast should I be going on a ro- on a given road? C- do you think that there's any speed at which someone can travel on a road that is reckless? Right. That's, I would, I would yes. also – yes, I, there would be c- context on the road, right? It depends it on the, the weather conditions, so, the curves in the road, etc. Rather than giving people a set of rules by which they can live, like don't drink this much, don't drive faster than this, don't go past these lines, um, you give them specific rules that they can live by, you're just like, hey – you know, drive on the road, and whenever the cops feel like you've done something that's wrong, they'll pull you over and give you a ticket. That's yes, your world. Uh, but, or, like, pull you over, and then they would actually give you a appearance where you could actually defend your actions. Well, they do that They do that now. Do they? Yeah. Uh, I think that they actually give you a, you pay this, and if you don't, uh, you pay this, and you're guilty until otherwise said. Well, I mean, a ticket is a – you have the opportunity to take a ticket to trial. I'm, I don't I don't really understand what you're saying. I mean, oh, ev- let me, I've let me known since I was stuff. 16 years old that I could take a ticket to trial. Let, let me let me, let me, me go back. Uh, my point is all the ro- – like all the things that the police officer should be able to do is pretty much what you said. I, reckless driving should be the only charge that should initially be, a, 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 you know, justification to pull somebody over. No, well, I totally that, agree well, with that. I yeah, mean, but I don't care the problem is, is that when you give them all of the discretion, you're telling police officers who are not notably the most liberty-oriented group in the world that, look, you have all the discretion as to whether somebody is going too fast, whether they are going, um, you know, driving too recklessly, whether they're weaving inside their lane too much, whatever it is. Well, that, on a private road, the private enforcers would also have a similar discretion, right? Somebody has to decide what is appropriate for the property and what isn't. I, I would concur with you. However, what a private um, a private owner? Yeah, that's the pro- that's the problem here. Rules written down. This is what draconian means. Draconian rules are, have come to mean harsh rules. But what mm-hmm. Draco did is he wrote this crap down so people knew what the rules were, rather than some king saying you're right, you're wrong. Let's cut the baby in half. Whatever. Now you've got a set of rules. This is really valuable. This is a giant step forward in civilization. Well, it is, to me, it seems like common law was, a, was the, in the Magna Carta is what gave us kind of the grounds towards our rule of law, right? I think, it's so, the, I think what we're talking about here is that the word reckless in and of itself is very arbitrary. Sure. Someone's version of reckless is not somebody else's Someone version. Someone else's version of fun. Right. Well, you're right. But re- reckless driving today does say 15 miles over the speed limit is technically reckless driving. Would you guys agree with that? Well, I think the speed limit no, is artificially low. I would not agree for with the that. purpose. Look, here's what I think. I think the fact is that there is a speed that's too fast to go on the road. Let's set the speed limit at that speed. Put put cameras up, and anybody who goes over that speed, a little ticket comes out. Because at that point, you would have almost no one. You'd have compliance on a, on a vast scale. Rather than putting this cop out there that catches one out of ten thousand wrongdoers every once in a while, you get a ticket. Um, I'd rather have the cops yeah. personally. I yes, definitely I know you don't would. think that everyone going seventy or or above on a fifty-five speed limit highway is being reckless. I, I don't know don't either. Agree. I don't know what the number is. Is. Right. But there's, you know, let's. The fact is, is if there is a speed at which too it is too fast to go to handle your car, um, you know, properly. And I think that this might even be different for different individuals. But you got to give a number. If there's a speed, then people going over that speed are being reckless, and they should get a ticket. I definitely the average think, okay. pace in, in most of Connecticut, the average pace on the roads is somewhere between like 80. 75 and 80, and yeah. the speed limits are 55. Right. Well, yeah. I, and I think that 75 or 80 on interstates is a pretty good number. Ryan, yeah. final thoughts. Yes. Uh, well, I, I didn't want to get off track. we got to remember one more thing. Uh, reckless driving was initially a criminal charge, so they would actually have to be proven in a court of law. So a cop 
discretion would have to be basically put on the stand and prove what he was saying to a reasonable doubt. Well, they do that anyway with uh, with tickets. It's just the gover- the uh, judges believe everything the cops say. Thanks for the call, Brian. I appreciate it. 855 It's corrupt courts is the problem here. You can take control of Free Talk Live or on Skype at LRN.FM. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. If you are like most people, chances are you're malnourished. Most people do not get the 90 essential nutrients the body needs to survive. This lack of nutrition can lead to all sorts of health issues. If you don't feel as good as you'd like, or if you're looking to get a jump start on a new, healthier you, Longevity has your answer. With the Healthy Start Pack, you get all the nutrients your body needs. With all 90 essential nutrients and 115 fruits and vegetables, you get a supplement system that is antioxidant rich and beyond compare. The Healthy Start Pack includes products backed by 40 years of science and millions of dollars in research, like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, EFA Plus 90, and OsteoFX Plus. To order your Healthy Start Pack today, call 607-739-5595. Again, that number is 607-739-5595. Once you start taking the Healthy Start Pack, you will see and feel why our motto is 90 for life. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We get a chance we'll come back into the 10 things 10 Reasons Why Libertarians Aren't Nice, at least according to Chris Cantwell, who, as I said before, is an expert. He self-describes as the anarchist, atheist, a-hole, 
at ChristopherCantwell.com. We only got through three of them, <laughs> three of the ten. But actually, during one of the breaks, I brought up this game that uh, that I've been playing on my Google phone. And Mark is very interested in this. He has questions, and so you wanted to talk about it on the air, Mark. We'll get into that here shortly. But I want to let you know about FreeRoss.org. Free, Ross, uh, Ross Ulbricht is allegedly the man who is behind the Silk Road. What is the Silk Road? Well, it is an infamous Bitcoin-based black market website where you can go and purchase whatever it is that you are looking to purchase, almost anything. Uh, especially if it's illegal. Though Silk Road does have some legal items on it, it really was noteworthy because if you wanted to go and buy drugs or a a fake ID or something like that, you could do that at the Silk Road. They took it down. The FBI raided the Silk Road back in October of 2013, and they arrested Ross Ulbricht, accusing him of being the mastermind behind the site, also known as Dread Pirate Roberts. He's now facing charges, criminal uh, felony charges at the federal level of money laundering, as well as, uh, I think, uh, conspiracy to deal drugs, and I think maybe a charge of computer hacking as well. They claimed originally that he had hired a hitman more than once to try to take out uh, some former a former employee and some who he was upset with, but they've never actually indicted Ross with those murder-for-hire charges, so I believe that what they were trying to do was make him look bad. They were trying to sully his reputation because Ross Ulbricht and Dread Pirate Roberts, whether they're the same person is still in question, but both of them are dedicated libertarian people. They believe in non-aggression. They don't believe in using violence to uh, solve their problems, or at least that was the persona that they put off. And so the feds tried to really smear the uh, smear Ross when they made the arrest and ultimately never made the charge, never charged him with the, the hitman thing. So if you were worried about that, there's no evidence that that's actually the case. If there were, they would have made a case against him. So that's what's going on. That's the latest on the case that I know of. His family's trying to raise money to help for, uh, pay for the defense. Not cheap to hire an attorney who's who's known for Joshua Dreidel, I think is his name. He's known for defending people in Guantanamo Bay. So this guy is a, g- a great attorney from all indicators, and great attorneys are not cheap. So if you want to help out with helping Ross and his family defend this case, he's sitting in a prison cell right now. He can't access any of his Bitcoins. He did have quite a few, but he can't get to them because the feds took them all. Uh, so freeross.org is where you can go to help out. Or if they didn't take them all, he certainly doesn't have access to a hidden cache of them because he's in prison. So please, uh, you can contribute via PayPal or cut a check or, of course, send Bitcoin through freeross.org. So let's uh, – oh, actually, you know what? We've got uh, Temper on the line, and then we'll get into this game that Mark is very curious about that Google has put out. Temper, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, are you with us? Do we have Temper? Temper, go. Oh, you know what? I've got him on hold. That would help. Skype's a little weird sometimes. Temper, go ahead. Uh, so I wanted to challenge that. Uh, I think it was a Christian that called in earlier. Um, they challenged you to go to <laughs> the Middle East, uh, Islam or something. Just I go to the Middle East, exactly. and and oh, yeah. Well, he did mention whatever. Yemen in his uh, in in his Dia yeah. tribe. Yeah, whatever. So, anyways, <laughs> Christians. I think most of them believe that Jesus is going to come back on a cloud or something like that. They'll be allowed Trump, and he'll re- return uh, on a white horse. Allowed Trump, not allowed trumpet. Allowed Trump. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Again, whatever. So my challenge to him is to go to the local hospital and say that he's Jesus. I just, I'm curious what would happen at that point. And he should say that he was talking to God. Now, wait, and, uh, to whom should he say this? The patrons of the hospital, uh, the customers, the emergency room victims, the doctors, security guards? To whom ideally should he? Ideally, a psychiatrist. Okay. And I, I'm just curious what would happen if he went into a hospital and said, I'm Jesus, I talked to God, he said that you're doing it wrong. What's what the, point, the of point of asking that? him to do that? Um, he I doesn't guess, believe he's Jesus, from what we can tell. Well, the point is that they would probably lock him up. So hmm, I, 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 I agree with that. this: that if Jesus comes back any other way than riding a big white horse through the sky, that he's probably going to get locked up. Um, like, and, you know, I mean, you know what happened to him the last time around. Uh, assuming that you know all the all the parts of the story are true, and it's difficult to know, but 
you know, let's just go ahead and give it a give it that it's true. You claim to be the son of God, and uh, at some point or another, you're going to get the uh, the full on uh, double barrel government treatment. We're from the government. We're here to help. You think so? You think they're going to put somebody in a jail, or not a jail cell, but a uh, some sort of a medical facility because they come in and talk to someone and claim they're Jesus? I mean, there's a lot but of crazy people out there who I don't guarantee get fr- it. I would I would bet a very large amount of money on it. I don't think so. I don't know what's going to happen specifically, but I can tell you that Jesus would be about sick and effing tired of what the church is doing today. And considering what he did to the money changers at the temple, I don't know what he'd do um, at churches. But consider that Jesus mm. came to stand against the people that uh, you know proposed the law over a relationship with God. And Christians today are... You know, the vast majority of them have taken the low road, and they're all about the rules, and they're nothing about the relationship. Sure. I mean, if Jesus walked into a church and started preaching peace, they would wonder, you know, and telling people to stop supporting war, they would probably run him out of there on a rail. And but- then what would, Je- what would Jesus do if that was his house? Mm. Consider that he threw over the, the the tables and spread the money and uh, just messed everything up. I mean, he'd be he'd get himself a whole bunch of trespassing charges is what he'd do. Yeah. Well, I think the point, though, is the moment you say you're talking to God, that that meets the textbook definition of schizophrenia, and at that point, they they do kind of lock you up. In fact, there was you a study so? done. There was actually a study done where a guy uh, had like 30 of his students go into a, a mental hospital, and all they said was they heard the word "thud," uh, a very benign word. He picked the word "thud" for a reason. And all of them were admitted, and then later they couldn't get out after, even after they said that the, you know, they don't hear the word anymore. And wow. many of them even spilled the beans and said, you know, this right. is part of a. Yeah, if I couldn't uh, get out, I would certainly be spilling some they're, beans. They're putting people in a, uh, they're putting people under medical restriction. But why lock thud? And key for saying they heard thud. Yes, and and that's documented. I mean, it was a. All right, maybe you're right, Temper. Maybe they would lock you up. Why thud? Why is thud so special? Uh, he picked it because it was benign word, like it it doesn't imply any action. It's just, um, right. it's, it's just a noise. So because someone heard, was hearing so, things, right. they locked them up. So th- hearing thud is less dangerous than hearing kill fat people, kill fat people, right? Like that's so I get it. Yeah. So, but even like if if you heard an action word, it, it's even more alarming than if you just hear. Something completely just if you just hear an onomatopoeia, like you're for, like you're a character out of Batman. <laughs> Bang, pow, Bang, pow, pow, boom. Thanks, Temper, for the call tonight. You know, one of, a little high five for the onomatopoeia <laughs> thing. <laughs> Excellent. One of uh, one of Free Talk Live's uh, news sources actually published an article today that uh, the title was "Biologists Confirm God Evolved from Chimpanzee Deity." <laughs> That's uh, amusing. <laughs> Uh, so there's a game that uh, that I've been playing. I guess it's kind of uh, it's it's a little late for Johnny Ray's game of the week, but we were discussing it during one of the breaks. And Mark, you seem really fascinated in this. It's an interesting game. Uh, it's it's called an augmented reality game, and okay. you have to use a smartphone. Unfortunately, iPhone users are not able to play this game. It eventually is supposed to come out for iPhone, but it's not yet. There's rumors. Uh, one of the guys who uh, works on the game, um, Brian, uh, what is it? This, uh, Brian game- Bad, Brandon Badger. Sorry, Brandon Badger, uh, for, who's an engineer from Niantic Labs at Google. Uh, apparently, he tweeted a picture of a new iPhone five in row. This thing sucks compared to my Android phone, but I need to play around with it for a secret project. Mm, I see. So the game in question is called Ingress, and apparently there's something like half a million, or you know, half a million, yeah, half a million people allegedly playing this game around the world mm-hmm. in various different cities. And we'll tell you more about it here uh, in moments. Maybe you're an Ingress player and you would like to explain. They're stealing your Wi-Fi passwords. Your experience. 855 <laughs> 450 freeze the toll-free number. We'll come back with more Free Talk Live in moments. Google hackers everywhere. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. 
from there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. The TalkStream Live app for iPhone, iPad, and Android is the fastest and easiest way to access live talk radio anytime, anywhere. Download the free TalkStream Live app right now and see for yourself. You'll enjoy instant access to the best in live talk radio. Find your favorite shows and discover some new ones. The TalkStream Live app is available in the App Store, the Google Play Store, or visit TalkStreamLive.com. That's TalkStreamLive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com the three most important things you can do for free talk live are one share one episode a week on facebook or in some other social networking site two buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com three give five bucks a month to the amp program it's my firm belief that free talk live's amp program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty oriented organizations support all the organizations you love but make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything here, toll-free at 855-450-FREE, or join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Tonight in the studio with you, it is Ian. And Johnson. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com, enjoy all the features there, and then there's certain things you can do to help us out. If you are an iTunes listener, if you're listening to us via podcast through iTunes, whether it's Windows, Mac, I think there's one for Linux, uh, if you're using iTunes to listen to Free Talk Live, leave us a pot of some rating and then switch uh, switch apps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, you, uh, please go ahead and leave us a rating. There's a five star option uh, next to the shows on iTunes. You can leave us that if you prefer. We sure sure would prefer that. And then also you can write a review. You can write a comment about us. And so the theory is that if more people do that stuff, maybe Free Talk Live would be more likely to uh, be featured on iTunes, for instance. 
and be more prominent there. So you can help us just take a moment next time you're in your iTunes to leave a review and rating for free. You know what I'm super curious about? I wonder how many people are still listening on like a regular old MP3 player. I mean, I I just... As opposed to a smartphone or yeah, something? Yeah, because I, I switched to a smartphone a long time ago now. And I, I was using an MP3 even. player as of about a year or so ago. Right. I just wonder how many people are still listening on MP3 players and are using like iTunes or an, a similar app to sync. And how many people, if they're using an app to sync, th- that it is iTunes? iTunes uh, is down a little bit as far as the people downloading right. the Free Talk Live podcast. It's not as big of a chunk as it used to be, but it's still pretty significant. Right. I mean, how many people listen like directly on SoundCloud? How many people go on like, like yeah, good question. YouTube? I mean, how, you know, like what? Where is everybody? And if you're, uh, I don't know, if, can, can you rate on SoundCloud? I'm not recalling if, if you can actually do a rating on SoundCloud. I don't know. But leave a comment. Leave comments on SoundCloud. If you're if you're playing us on SoundCloud, you like a little bit of the show. The cool thing about SoundCloud is you can actually leave a comment in the show. Like it, they show you the waveform of each show, and you can actually click in there and leave a comment at a certain time point. So if we're talking about you know, like right now we're talking about the Ingress game that Google has created. If you have a comment that you want to leave, you don't have to just leave a generic comment that attaches to the whole show. You can leave one that's right there in the actual segment of where what we're discussing, which is a very cool feature that only SoundCloud has that I know of. Uh, so you can go, again, go to freetalklive.com. Dave from com. Poughkeepsie could have been linking to his, his uh, YouTube video responses all this time. He, he totally could have. <laughs> um, so Ingress is a game that Google put out over a year ago. It went into a, like an open, or not an open, but an invite-only beta. And it is now a game that you don't need an invite to get into. You can just go and download it on your Android-based device, your tablet, or your phone. And you can just start playing this thing. So it's a... Uh, it is an augmented reality. Now, Mark, do you know what augmented reality is? Well, I I understand the game a little bit, but um, so I think I do. It's a uh, it's an overlay for mm-hmm. the real world. Yes. So um, instead, per- think perhaps in a game where um, you know instead of uh, you know instead of just going for a jog, you uh, you know go for a jog, and every time you pass by, say a uh, a tenth of a mile, Mark, you pick up a gold coin. Or and Johnny Ray was telling us about the one where he was trying to run away from zombies. There I was, was just a, about to mention that one. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called, but... Uh, there's something like Run From Zombies. Yeah, there's I mean, a game where you put in headphones and you've got your smartphone and it, it gives you things to do while you're kind of running and the idea is the zombies are after you and so it augments reality. Kind of the classic version of augmented reality is yeah. looking at the sky with a like a constellation map application mm-hmm. so you can hold your phone up and it'll show you where the constellations are and so that's augmenting your reality. The name of that zombie app is zombies comma run there you go. Point. <laughs> so uh so this game <laughs> is uh, so basically the idea behind the uh, the game ingress is that there's these portals that have come up on the earth all around the world the portals are uh, there's two two sides two factions in the game green and blue green is the enlightened side they believe that the portals are here to help mankind and they want to help bring whatever creatures are going to come through the portals through oh, the portals. Oh wow, portals. I'm a, and I welcome our new av- yes. alien overlords. <laughs> and then the blue team is the resistance. These are the people who believe these things are going to be used for nefarious purposes. The aliens are going to turn us into their pets. Yeah. So these are the two factions. You're asked to choose one of those sides. The game does not automatically assign people, so therefore like here in the Keene area, uh, when I joined the game with my friend down in uh, in Florida, who kind of turned me on to this, um, and I'm just kind of dabbling in it. It's it's interesting. Anyway, I joined as blue, but up here in Keene, blue dominates. It seems like there are far more blue players than green players. So in some areas, there's a heavy domination of one color versus the other, and in other areas, they're just constantly battling back and forth. So the idea is that the teams want to control these portals. And so in order to control the portals, you have to destroy these resonators that are around them, basically protecting them. And then you can create your own resonators to protect the portal once you capture it. Now, obviously, those things don't exist. They only exist in, in the, the game. game. And right. you play pretend. And Exactly. And you get these you get these things as sort of rewards for doing things in the game, like hacking the, uh, the portals or whatever. And then once you capture enough portals... You can connect the portals together via triangles on sort of the larger map. And if you can connect a triangle of portals together, it fills in that 
on the map with like the blue color if you're blue or green if you're green. And so on a larger scale view, you can look at actually a map of the whole world on the Ingress website and you can see, you know, what's the shift and, you know, is blue winning, is green winning. They kind of there's a total for the whole world and then you can go and like drill down by region and see who's winning there. Now and these so, portals you don't have any control over. They just pop up wherever they pop up. You can submit a portal to Google and they will uh, consider it. There are certain uh, factors that they take. So, for instance, you couldn't submit one for your house uh, or somebody else's house. Because what happens with these portals is people come there because they have to physically be at the portal in order to defeat its defenses and then capture it. So, last night I was at... How about the top of a mountain? That seems like a fun place. It could totally be mm -hmm. a, a place where something like that would be. Yeah, as long as Google approves the submission for the portal and usually public places... Uh, you know, kind of landmarks. It wouldn't sculptures. surprise me if there was already a portal at the top of, say, for, say, for example, Mount Monadnock, because it's one of the most high locations in New England, right? So, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, it would make sense for one to be there. And already. if it's not there already, one could submit it. There aren't too, too many of them in this area because this is a low population area. Right. Only so many people are playing. So, for instance, on the college campus, there are multiple portals because someone who's in college has plenty of free time. They're more likely to, you know, younger people might be more likely to play this game. And um, anyway, it's, it's an interesting game. One of the things that I, I like about it, and this is something my, my friend pointed out, because on one hand, I don't like it because it's pointless and it never ends. You know, like a, it's it's massively multiplayer game mm -hmm. that just just power is just shifting from side to side, and there's just no. Well, that's the idea it. of it is life. It's life, right? Yeah. Either it is life. Life like doesn't until you die. You either have fun with it or, or you don't. And one of the fun <laughs> things about it is that you do have to walk places, so it's kind of an exercise game to some extent. Yeah, you can drive, but ultimately you're going to have to get out of the car and, and in some cases walk uh, to where you need to go. Uh, you can't drive a car around the college campus, for instance. So when I was on the college campus the other day tr tr testing the game out. Uh, I was able to walk to different areas of the campus I'd never been before. I never had a reason to go there. never really cared about going there. But uh, now I'd actually been to some parts of the campus I'd never seen before. So you get to see new things. That's cool. New uh, new synapses firing in the brain. And there's also a social aspect to the game. So Wait, wait a second. So what do you do to... You've got to blow up these portals yes. or support these portals or whatever you do. How do you do that? Do you, <laughs> do you, do you put your, phone, button? Do your you, phone and go, 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 go. Do you, ha do you like make uh, you know wanding motions in the air with your <laughs> no, arms? No, what do you no, have to do? You just press a button on your phone. Oh, you okay. fire a weapon uh, in your phone at this thing and it takes damage and the the portals can have different levels of uh defenses and you as a player have a level kind of like a role-playing game you get you can level up throughout the game so if you are a weak level player you're going to have a harder time against a high level defense that kind of thing okay. there's also a social aspect to the game there's a chat window where you can talk with locals you can also sort of extend the range out of where you can see the chats so if you want to see chats for all of new hampshire or the entire new england region hmm. you can see that stuff or I can just drill down and only see who's talking about what's going on in Keene. So you can talk to people on your side. You can talk to the other people. Some people actually meet up in real life. My friend uh, down in Florida met up with some of the people on on the same team recently. He went to some trailer park, and they were like cooking out in the, in the front yard. They offered him some food. And the reason why he was meeting up was, I guess, if you meet up with somebody who's on your same side, they can give you some of their items. So if they have a bunch of, let's say, weapons and they don't need them all, they can give them to you if they meet you in person. And if you can meet up with somebody, then you can build better defenses than you could by yourself. So this sounds like a portals. this sounds like a great game to me. I mean, your people are getting out and getting a little exercise. They're meeting they other folks. Yeah. Um. You know. I mean, hopefully they're not getting murdered off in an alley anymore. There was by these a. Cr uh, my friend Bill did tell me. Uh, long head, long time listeners may remember Crackhead Bill. Uh, he did <laughs> tell me that uh, that there was some some creepy guy who was stalking him at one point. So. Uh, apparent, you know, it is a game and anyone can play it, so you never know who you're really going to encounter in, in these things. <sighs> nice. He's a bluesy man. <laughs> well, there are people who, uh, you know, they're really <laughs> taking the game seriously and uh, they, they get tattoos of the game. They're really into it. And I, I imagine the design a big of the culture. game is very cool. I mean, I would recommend, even if you're not playing on playing the game, that you look up Ingress because it's the design is just very cool. Looking. It's a cool looking game. It's uh, it's interesting and apparently it's fairly popular. So check also it out. Also, some interesting Ingress. videos about it on YouTube. And uh, I N G R E S S, that's how you do that. We'll see you tomorrow night online in the meantime at freetalklive.com.
there's a tr According to a report released today, the vast majority of American children lack the presence of a strong, sculpted male supermodel, with less than 4% of youngsters being taught the important values of respecting runway etiquette, maintaining a glistening six-pack, and walking a catwalk with verve and flair. The number of strong-jawed male supermodels in children's lives has declined to record lows, leaving the majority of our youth unaware of how to get comfortable in front of the camera during an underwear shoot, or even perform something as simple as a sexy but stylish full turn. Stanton went on to say that impoverished communities were especially affected by the lack of Adonis-like male figures, and added that children in lower class homes were over 80% less likely to grow into the type of high cheekboned, studly he-men that succeed in haute couture society. Quite frankly, these children are just not getting the necessary influence of a dynamic male supermodel who can both make puppy dog eyes at the camera and also radiate that sort of raw, unabashed machismo that forces fashionistas is to look up and take notice. This is the Onion News Network. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,304. Silver opened at $19.78, and Bitcoin is trading at $442.78. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Gigahash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time, and sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. Support also comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online, affordablesound.com or call them 512-459-5253. And support comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing. Tickets available for their second annual conference. It'll take place June 21st, voiceandexit.com. In the news, as pro-Russian forces prepare for conflict with Ukrainian authorities, the United States is accusing Russia of creating conflict within eastern Ukraine. Separatist forces have seized several buildings, creating barricades, and are apparently arming themselves with makeshift bombs as they demand independence from Kiev. Former Mount Gox CEO Mark Karpeles is beyond the jurisdiction of United States courts. That's according to his attorney. Karpeles and the now-bankrupt Bitcoin exchange are currently being sued for consumer fraud after Mt. Gox announced it could not account for several hundred thousand customers' bitcoins. Working under the theme with Generation Liberty, the Libertarian Party of Texas will kick off its 2014 state convention at the Frank W. Mayborn Civic and Convention Center in Temple this week. The convention will run from April 11th through the 13th. Candidates will be nominated, breakout sessions will be held, and special guests will speak. That includes independent journalist Ben Swan, who will serve as keynote speaker during a Saturday evening dinner banquet. Tickets are required for some events with information to be found at lptexas.org. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. Dorothy can walk you through the ins and outs of buying a home. Give her a call, 512-343-6494, or apply online. Call Dorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. Support also comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Brave New Books. Find them online at BraveNewBookstore.com. 
This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. Check out the website, thelibertybeat.com. It's known as Heartbleed and is described by experts as being one of the most serious computer security threats in recent years. Reuters reports that Heartbleed is a newly discovered bug in widely used web encryption technology that makes data on major websites vulnerable to hacker attacks. Security experts say Heartbleed is so troubling because victims can't tell if their data has been accessed. The bug has existed for about two years. Security experts say now might be a good time to change passwords. A federal judge says the State Department should not have delayed the prosecution of former Blackwater security contractors charged with shooting unarmed Iraqi civilians. Russia Today reports the contractors were working on behalf of the United States at the time of the 2007 shootings. They are accused of shooting 14 Iraqi civilians without justification and in violation of deadly force rules. The United States and Japan are hoping to strike a two-way trade deal that could help seal the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The two nations are meeting this week in anticipation of President Barack Obama's arrival in Japan on April 24th. The United States is hoping to convince Japan to open its rice, beef, pork, dairy, and sugar markets. U.S. Trade uh, Representative Michael Froman stated that Japan was holding up the international agreement by refusing to be flexible. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal Printing. Your source for anything printed since 1972. Now accepting Bitcoin online at MassAppealInc.com. And support comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. Homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Welcome back to the ONN Presidential Democra Kiosk Debate. If you're just tuning in, tonight, in an historic first, Americans can ask any question at any time just by stepping into one of the thousands of Democra kiosks we've placed in front of 7-Elevens across the country. Decatur, Illinois, let your voice be heard. Hi, everybody. My name's Joe Crawford, and my question is, how many taco and cheese taquitos do you think I can eat in 60 seconds? Kevin, uh, have we screened all of these? We haven't, but we can. We can't. Great. Straight from the heart of America, raw and unfiltered, Rockville, Maryland, to Boulder, Colorado. This is the most powerful sword in the planet. So we really can't screen these things, Kevin? Not at all. Okay, then I think I'll just ask a question of my own. What's that? Okay, no, I won't. Austin, Texas. This is the Onion News Network. It's time for Off the Air Live. And here's your host, Cody O'Connor. Hello, I'm your host. And like the guy said, I'm Cody O'Connor. And you hear me every Thursday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. on LRN.FM, as well as TalkSuperStation.com. So you can call.